Oh, oh, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen, another night because my hair is fucking ridiculous. How y'all doing tonight? Just me, probably still. Just me, probably still, but we're doing good. We're going to have some fun tonight. We're going to play Banners of Ruin, a game which we can all hear in the background, maybe a little bit. Maybe a little bit, just tinkling. Oh, the angelic sounds. The angelic sounds out there. Where's the game? Come on. You know, I've been having this problem as of late. I've been having this problem as of late. Hmm. Oh. That's why. <laughs> Bam! There it is, folks. And we are ready to go. It is a Friday night. Feeling good about myself. Had a pretty easy day at work. Which always, always lifts the spirits. Bring you up. Bring you up. Hey, Remco! Good Abend! Prost! Cheers, hello! How you doing tonight? Oh, I am ready for some Banners of Ruin. I have had my mind on this game. Um, I played it a little bit last weekend, I want to say. We, okay, we streamed it right around when it came out. Maybe like a week and a half ago or something, two, two weeks ago. Just a little bit, just a little bit. We did a little taste. And then I played it once through on my own, and I, I gotta say, it tickled my fancy. I need to update this. Man, man the maker? That's not right. This is... That's the old, that's the old business. That's the old business. I mean, if you don't know what the game is, think of it a little bit like... Kind of reminds me of Gordian Quest, actually. Gordian Quest mixed with Slay the Spire. Something like that. That seems, that seems pretty accurate. I don't know. It's just another roguelite game. You card building, deck building, what's it doozies. Also busy coding last week in heat. It is hard, man. When you're coding and you're trying to, like, work your way through some, like, complicated algorithm and you need to, like, super be super logical and <sighs> structure yourself. And just how do, you, how do you find structure when your brain is just completely fuzzy and hazy and there's really nothing that you can do about it? It's just... I worked from home today, which made a big difference, but today was also Improvement Fridays, which is an awesome thing that my company does uh, once a month, but we haven't done it in six months. So it just kind of came back where I can basically do whatever I want, as long as it's pretty much in the realm of the world of coding or software development, um, and learn about something or do some kind of side project. For me, I'm a Node.js developer. Um, and I kind of did a deep dive into some shit that I didn't really understand before. Um, which I think was a really good idea for me. Really useful thing to do. Because I am a self-taught programmer, so I have some fairly, fairly big gaps. I got some fairly big gaps up in there. So, I mean, let's just, let's just start the game. It's a pretty quiet start. I'm still, you know, this is my second Friday stream. And uh, I'm still feeling it out. Like, is it actually better to stream on the weekday or on a Friday night? Is my audience home? I mean, this can also be Friday afternoon, but the afternoons don't make a difference because I'm always going to stream afternoon uh, if you're in America. Can't be helped. Not going to stream at midnight. I got a job. Um... And so the question is, is, are, is, Fridays, is Fridays worth it, right? Because I am giving up a little bit of, of a thing. Um, I could be doing a social thing, going out somewhere on a Friday, and I give that up to come here and stream. And the question is, is, is it worth giving up the Friday? Or is it better to just do a stream on a, on a say, a Wednesday? You know, do streaming on Wednesday, Thursday, Saturday? Unknown. If quiet time at work, so also busy with improving code. Yep. 
Yep. That's uh, you know, in summertime, we're not really taking on a lot of new projects. Instead, what we're doing is just uh, going through, and kind of cleaning up um, some old bugs, some smaller things that just like when you have high priority things to do, you just never gonna fucking get to doing some refactoring to make code simpler and cleaner to understand for the future and it's just like yeah it's good to do but like when business uh <laughs> when business is like we need x done immediately you're like but i want to refactor it's gonna be good for the future nobody gives a shit depends on most of your users are from europe or the u.s on twitch i think it's mostly it's mostly europe because I stream in the evening in Europe, and I, I think I don't get a lot of people in the U.S. in the daytime. Um, on YouTube, it's mostly the U.S., but nobody gives a shit when I record uh, for that, so it doesn't really matter. Let's so start a new game. Now, I don't. I think the one that I haven't done is Beaver Hair, so we're gonna go Beaver Hair. Enter campaign. And here we are. If you're unfamiliar with the game, I'll kind of just explain it as we go along. I'll just talk a little about it. We got two characters. They're going to fight in a board. We got 16 cards in our deck. We draw some of them at the beginning of our turn in combat. And then only uh, our characters have a certain amount of uh, mana. APC ready to go waiting for passengers. Passengers. Good evening. <laughs> Why the double passengers? Was the first one taken? Did you have to do the second passenger? Was it actually taken? I wouldn't be that surprised. If I'm going to be honest here. Got a nice red sheen to my forehead. New day, new game. I am a variety streamer, my friend. No doubt about it. There's very few games that uh, I would really ever want to just play all the time. But there are some that I always come back to. There's some that I always come back to. Star Sector will do again. Tales of Magile makes its way on here every once in a while. I got my mind. My mind is hot on that. On uh, Rift Wizard. I was dreaming about it. I tell you, man. I was dreaming about it last night. It's like... I was listening to a Radio Lab episode where they were talking about this. And people who played a lot of Tetris. And Tetris in particular compared to some other games... Um, because of the simplicity of the graphics, the simplicity of the, um, of the sounds, if you played a lot, it makes it way into your brain and you will dream about it. This has never happened to me with like complex strategy games or, um, I don't know, like a shooter or something where it's very busy and a lot of things are happening, but, uh, it happened with, with Rift Wizard because it is kind of like this simplicity and in graphical interface and simplicity and in interactions. And it's interesting what happens when you sleep, right? You know, throughout the day, we, we absorb all of this information uh, just constantly. You know, there's so much stuff. But the things that you do a lot, you know, obviously they stick. If you practice something for two hours a day, half an hour a day, four hours a day, over time, you're going to start to learn how to how to do that thing. You're going to absorb it. And the, the way that I heard this described is what your brain does is when you're uh, when you're sleeping, right? It kind of turns down the volume on everything that you experience throughout the day. And the things that you did the most or also that had the, the strongest impact on you, right? Because you know, if you get punched in the stomach once, you know, you didn't do it a lot, but you'll probably remember that. And you might absorb some information from that just out of uh, kind of shock value. So you turn down the volume and all that filler stuff and even important stuff that you wish you would remember but didn't uh, put loud enough into your mind will just fade into white noise. Just you'll, you'll hear it, you know, like... Um, Let's think. You read this one. You read a one passage that you liked, and it's like, ah, helping hand, forgotten tunnel, a gift. Helping hand, forgotten tunnel, and it just gets lower and lower. Helping hand, forgotten tunnel, a gift. Helping hand, forgotten tunnel, a gift. Helping hand, and it gets lower and lower and lower and lower. And meanwhile, you turn up this like a little bit of static, and the static just kind of filters out the lesser things. 
And then what remains is the thing that you've repeated. And so that is basically how you learn and why sleeping is so fucking important for learning. Because without that sleep cycle, your brain just won't do that. And then you're going to have so much of this crap bouncing around and your brain's just not really going to absorb it. Anyways. <laughs> so here we are at Banner of Ruins. You had dreams about Mansa Musa? That's, that's sweet. Mansa Musa was a beast in Civ 4. Was a beast in Civ 4. I have ADD, ADHD, I avoid triggers before sleeping so I dream less. I also have it. Um, I try to avoid that too. When I stream, you know, I usually stream until around 11. Um, go to bed at midnight, try and give myself at least an hour, though I can't always. Sometimes I, I mean, on Sundays I usually go until midnight and then just hop right into bed. Um, my schedule just doesn't really allow it. And since I want to stream, uh, you know, I just kind of got to deal with it and hope that it doesn't trigger it. Usually it don't, but man, I was like waking up in the middle of the night, like seeing the Rift Wizard board in front of me and like, no, no, <laughs> don't do that. Don't, don't go there. Okay. Astral shift, astral shift, astral shift. Get out of there. That nightmare. Okay. Whew. We got it. Okay. Whew. Oh no. It's really... You and your brain, you parted ways already. Well, you know, the key to happiness, some might say. Back to the game. So we got a couple of things that we could do. There's a forgotten tunnel. We could just enter combat. We can get a gift and just get some of that sweet cash money right off the bat, which you know is always good. Or we can get provisions. I'm going to take the money. And uh, it's because I don't really need to like explain it too soon. I'm just going to take the money. We're just going to say that. Take the money. This is like our node system, right? You don't actually get to see what's ahead of you. And you kind of end up all, usually like having to pick something. You end up in a position where you end up fighting and there's really not much you could do about it. Um, and like so, here, we can go left. No, tunnel walls block us, tunnel walls block us. I realize that this is probably the right side, depending on if you're watching the stream through a mirror, which some people tell me has been the the optimal streaming experience when you're watching somebody who's of middling intelligence. Let's just be generous here. Forgotten Tunnel. Let's get into combat. You emerge from a black, from the black, and find yourself in one of the guard bunks. Where, 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 where did you devils come from? You, you can't be here. I'm afraid we're here, folks. I'm afraid we're here to stay. Boom, and there's the combat. There it is. We got four lanes. Lanes matter less for us, make a big difference for the opponent because only one lane acts at a time. So if you can kind of manipulate and get people moving around into lanes, it's really, really, really strong. Now we got some numbers here. Health, armor, health, armor. Health for us, you do not replenish it outside of fights unless you encounter certain events. So you gotta be really, really careful. You usually want to keep, you usually want to keep your armor up so that you don't take the health damage. It really does kind of suck for it to happen. Um, we got our two characters here, by the way. We got our hair and we got the beaver. Beaver is wearing light armor. Starts each combat with six armor. Gains one stamina every turn. Whereas this guy, medium armor, starts each combat with fourteen. It's the difference in starting. They have different weapons, which kind of give them different options. And it's interesting because you can see he's got three here and he's got three here. That corresponds to these numbers. Replenishes every turn. And now there are cards that anybody can play. Second Wind, for example, I can select him, I can select him, and I can play Second Wind no matter what. Right? However, I select him and I can't do Greatsword because he's got the Greatsword. So it's really like, uh, you know, this, this is like mix of... You can just have anybody with high energy, and then you can do anything you want, but sometimes you can't. Sometimes I accidentally cast too many things with the with this guy, and I can't do my greatsword. Really sucks. We're gonna do the greatsword. Deals 12 damage, attacks all target on rank. Boom. I call them lanes. These are actually two ranks. The lanes are this way. I will play it. 12 damage on all targets. All right, pretty solid start, pretty solid start. Now, 
There's also this blue thing. We don't have actually any cards that use it. The blue thing does not regenerate between turns. So you gotta be a little bit more careful with it. When we have something that uses it, we can pay attention. Um, we can also see what they're gonna do. Deal eight damage to the bat, to the, the banny, to the banny. Eight damage to the banny. Safety numbers, eight damage to the hair and eight damage to the banny. So no matter what, someone's taken two damage. I can either boost you up with a guard to gain the five, or I can boost you up with the guard to gain the five. He's getting hit for eight. He's getting hit for 16. No matter what, I take that. I think I'd rather you guard, because he starts with less armor generally, and he's more likely to take damage going forward. There. Here's his last energy. He's done. Your turn, however. Your turn is going to be fantastic. Actually, I should have realized we're not going to take any damage because, well, first of all, I can pop off the second win. Draw one card and gain one vigor. The next time this character loses stamina, it's refunded and vigor is removed. I should have used this first, done the greatsword, and I would have gotten the two energy back. But whatever. It's done. I can just do this and draw. We can do a Vanguard here. Deal six damage if active character is in front rank, plus four. Active character is in front. We're gonna deal 10 damage. We can deal 10 and we can kill you. Hatchet. This is his weapon, you can see there, which means we can change this out at a later point. Um, if we so wanted to. Right? But right now it deals 8 damage. If it breaks armor, we gain 2 charge. The next time we attack, we get 2 additional damage on every instance of that attack. It's kind of interesting how that works out. You have some multi attacks, so you say deal 1 damage uh, 3 times. Charge will stack with that. If I've got 5 charge and I deal 1 damage 3 times, I'm actually doing 6 damage 3 times. Doesn't matter. We're just going to kill you. And that's the end of our turn. One guy's left. You're going to smack me down, but we don't take any damage because of our armor. He gained a buff, safety and numbers. This is a special for them. Uh, the rabbits, I think. Rabbit uh, Militia Spearmen get this. Character has three or more allies. Their armor is raised to ten. Don't really got to worry about it. Another ability that we haven't seen yet. Deal weapon damage, eight. So, weapon damage. His weapon, if you recall from a hatchet, is only eight damage. His weapon is twelve. It also applies bleeding, which deals vitality damage equal to stacks of bleeding and ticks down by one each turn. It ignores armor, which is something to remember. Um, solid footing is another new one. Gain 15 armor, character gains pacify. Big armor, but you can't act again. Doesn't matter, we're just gonna kill this guy. We gain a little bit of cash, and we gain a card. Ah, you can see there. We've got um, Will, I believe it's called for this one. Draw a card for each character in the back rank. Back rank characters gain one vigor. Right now we don't have anybody in the back rank. So it's not that great. Colossal Smash, remove all your armor, deal damage equal to the amount lost. It's not so great right now, eventually, sure. Um, and Taunt, select a target if the position in front of them is vacant move them into it. Moving people around is really, really quite good. Taunt? Taunt is kind of one of the worst ones. I will probably take it anyways. I will take it anyways. And there it is. So, we can now enter the city. A small hatchway leads into a damp, dark chamber behind the city wall for House Blackfoot. Open the hatch and enter the city. It's very, and I've, I played it a bit. I really, really, really like it. Um, and one thing that we can tell is when we reach the ends of these places, there are certain things that are going to happen. When we reach here, there's an equipment service. Reach here, there's a higher service, which is probably, I think, almost always the right choice. Because right now we've got two characters, but we can have more of them. And a healing service. You can heal everybody up. Definitely want this. I don't know if you can, like, reach them at different times. I haven't been able to do it. It's always been I reach them all at the same time. Whatever. We're just going to go straight down the middle. The art is nice. I like the music a lot as well. 
And here we go. We got two two scoundrels. You're going to deal two times four and then move swap to a random position and you're going to do the same. And I believe this is two damage times four. Yes, multi-attack, it does say it up there. So if they get charged, they can deal massive amounts of damage and really fuck you up. They can, they can really fuck you up. So let's hope that doesn't happen. Um, 16 and 6. So they've got 22. Can we deal 22 to them? I bet you we can. You're both attacking him, which is pretty unfortunate. Draw a card and gain one. I'm going to start off with this. Draw a card and gain the Vigor. They're both attacking him. What's interesting is we can actually move him. And I mean, I'm pretty sure this is... Okay, let's think about this. Sharpened Steel will deal 12 plus 4, 24. Obviously, I should do this with the Vigor because I'm going to get it right back. So we're going we're gonna to pop off there. It's free. We only need to deal 6 more damage to this guy for him to die. But I think what we're going to need to do... I mean, we can just do the Vanguard. And we, I think we... Well, no. We can use the Hatchet here. I know we're not going to get the charge, but we can... He's effectively dead now. He's going to die at the beginning of his turn to this. You can use the Vanguard. Okay. Didn't do... In, you know, not enough to kill him. Still going to take 8 damage, but... Oh, yes. Withdraw. Apply 5 armor to target ally. You can be yourself and swap him to a new position. They do not follow... They would attack somebody behind him if he was there, but they will not follow you as you move around. People in the back rank do. Something to note. But for now, we've avoided any damage whatsoever, and we should have enough damage to just deal uh, 12. I have a hard time thinking that we won't. We don't. Unfortunately, we do not. We can smack you twice. You still got the two. And now, yeah, you're going to deal one times three. But you're going to apply one bleed, which at the beginning of my turn will get through my armor. Even if I have, you know, giant piles of armor. Doesn't matter. Because the bleed will get through. Smack, smack, smack. And the bleed happens, and we take the one damage. It's only one. Yeah, it's okay. It's not a big deal, but... You gotta be careful. It's not always so easy to heal, and sometimes when you do heal, it's be you're giving up something else. Gain a card. In protection, equal to the total of adjacent characters on rank. Interesting. Could be quite good at some point. I think there's another Vanguard for... strong damage? It's not that great. None of none of these are actually that great. Uh, battering, what am I talking about? Deal six damage, push opponent to back rank, if occupied, switch their positions. Battering ram is fantastic. Being able to manipulate where people are is incredibly strong. So now we can choose. We can gain 100 experience, and you can see there we're at 350 out of 500 to start off with. We can, uh, I think... No, if we let this expire, they're drunken and we can get money from them. This removes the next two cards. We're not going to do that. We're just going to get the intelligence. We gain the experience. The drunken guards are here, and that's just free money. 300 florins. I think they use creature 2D animation software. I don't know what that means. What is creature 2D animation software? We can go for a quick round, heal everybody by 50%. Why do that? Go for the combat, or we can discard from each other lane. But I'm not going to do that because it's actually more beneficial for me to get into combat because it gives me delicious experience. Delicious experience. You know we want it. All right. We got three mice. 
not the greatest draw. Two strikes. See, rush here, one times three. Kind of sucks right now. Remco, I'll see you later. We'll be here until at least uh, 11. So I would say another three hours minimum. We might go late tonight. We'll see how tired I get. It's hot, <laughs> which, which definitely wears upon the spirit, wears upon the soul. Um, I Yeah, it would be nice to be able to kill one of you guys, but it's just not going to happen, is it? Um, I'm going to start off with the second wind. Who are you attacking? Him? A solid footing will not help us with vigor. Suffer for 2D animation games. Very powerful one. Yeah. I mean, I do really... I mean, the, the gentle animations of the art here, it is beautiful. It is a really, really nice looking game. Very smooth, lifelike movements. So here we have a round shield, which we have we have yet to actually use. Now the question is, do I have enough to kill them? I got I got sidetracked there. Uh, this gives him. I mean, only you can use it. You gain ten armor, and you spawn tank take cover, which I'm actually going to use this. We gain the ten take cover is just give five to somebody else. Just like that, we're not taking any damage. And I think what we're going to go for is just, just put out the beats here. Put out the beats. Doesn't matter who does it. The rush is uh, pretty annoying. Smack you down a little bit. And we get attacked. It's not a big deal. We're able to attack. See now. Ooh. On turn start, if this character has three or more allies, their armor's raised to 10. I need to kill him now. Which I will easily do. You can kill him. Two times three and two times three. What I can do can I kill one of you? 12 plus 4. Yes. You're dead. Like I might have been able to kill you too. You're attacking him. I can use the guard. And now we take no damage. And we survive. All is good. Everything is fine. As long as we don't dip into the health damage, it doesn't matter. And these fights are easy, but it's gonna get... He lived. I'm shocked. It's gonna get challenging. Denver and Cartwright have leveled up. So six damage to rank. So everybody in the front row would get it. Interesting. Another taunt, which we definitely don't want. I don't really care for the wild brawl. Focus fire is interesting. Apply focus fire. Whenever the opponent is attacked, apply one. One Overwhelm. For every stack of Overwhelm, this character receives 25% more damage from attacks. Removed at the start of this character's turn. But the Focus Fire stays forever, and I think we're going to pick it up. I think we're definitely going to pick it up. Two characters level up. You get the little law. Oh, that's so cute. Oh my god, did you see that? That was fucking adorable. I'm dying here. Whew. Alright, upgrade Stamina or Will. I almost always go with the Stamina in the beginning. And now we get one of the two ways, one of the three ways in which we can customize our peeps here. You get to pick some cards. Draw four cards and gain pacify. So you could draw four cards, but then he can't do anything. Interesting. Also costs will. Tenacity, this character removes all stack of everything. I, it's pretty much I think that's pretty much every every negative status effect not useful a lot but when it's useful mmm mmm I think we're gonna take it and next again I'm just gonna take the will right or the the energy improvise pick any card from your draw pile and place it at the top of the pile Costs a lot. Costs will as well. Another tenacity. 
I kind of like the talent. No, let's go double tenacity. Feels weird. I'm not super happy about that choice. Um, we can buy some cards from ba Brawlers, defensive stances, or we could just take combat and go for experience. I'm going to save my money. I'm going to just completely save my money. Because there's something in specific that I'm going to want to buy as soon as possible. Alright, we got a Thugs and Scoundrels. The Thugs pop off. They leave vulnerable if we have armor. You hit two times four, and you hit him. Can I kill any of you? Probably not. I mean, it's obvious to just start off with the greatsword. And then actually, should have used uh, the hatchet to, to start off with. Actually, yeah, we can. We can actually kill one of you. And I think we're going to do that. Vanguard. Into hatchet. Beautiful. Yeah, unfortunately, we're going to take a little bit more health damage on you, but... You know, what are you going to do about it? I'll, I'll just hit you to make sure that you die next turn. Do you guys have these, like... I don't actually know what they're called. These long... Long, they look like long legged mosquitoes. They're not mosquitoes, they don't bite you. In fact, I'm pretty sure that they actually eat mosquitoes. Bazakaru, happy Friday! Good to see ya. How you doing today? Dealing with the heat, alright, I hope. You're attacking him again, but we can just withdraw you out of the way. Actually, what's kind of cool here, we can battering ram you, and now he doesn't even attack. He doesn't even attack. Nothing to do. Ventilator helps all. Playing Risk of Rain 2 with the girlfriend. I have not even seen Risk of Rain, like, at all. Probably need to do that. Ooh. Overwhelm? It's actually quite annoying. We're, we can't we can't actually kill you. I can guard, gain the armor. I mean, you might as well focus fire. He also has, yeah, that is the focus fire. We can uh, stack that overwhelm, but we don't actually have anything to follow it up with. So, whatever. Solid footing, gain a lot of armor. And we don't gotta worry about it. Ventilator helps a lot. Are you on a ventilator? That's unfortunate, I guess. I mean, if you're on a ventilator, the existence of ventilators is a miracle so i guess that's nice deep strike deal five damage if opponent is in back rank deal 12 instead bearing swing dealing damage to lane or toe to toe toe to toe is great where this character attacks the opponent on the same lane gains six armor sign me up for sure whoo Hot. Crazy Weasel is here. We can investigate it. Um, I don't remember what he does. Blackfoot Agent, discard a random combat card. Or we could just level up. I'll take the level up. Some guards approaching die quickly. Who do you counsel? Tubby boy. Their advice, you narrowly avoid an open combat. With their advice? My, my advice? They seem proud of their achievement. Nice. One character leveled up. And now we get to the second way that you um, specify your character. You've got stuff over here. Passives. On turn 9, double the stacks of poison on all opponents. Can be crazy because of the way that poison works. Deals damage equal to stacks of poison at the start of the target's turn. Okay increases by one each turn. You can really have like crazy, crazy stuff going on. Whenever this character deals damage, apply one bleed. Or gets rage five whenever an ally dies. And you don't like planning for loss. I think we're just gonna take the bleeding. And 
probably one more stamina. And then we're going to go hard into the will after that. Search party, search party, search party. They've stumbled across you. One of them figured it out and alerted the others. Well, prepare for combat. Okay, these guys are for real now. They're not just militia, city guardsmen. These guys, the enforcer. At the end of their turn, the character gains charge equal to stacks of fury and fury increases by two. They can start to deal crazy amounts of damage and for sure is going to be the one that we want to kill right away. You're attacking the bunny for ten, everyone for five, and everyone for five. That makes you immune. This makes you immune, and we'll give the other guy the take cover. You can uh, take a pop at him. He does get the bleed. Um, why not just go guard and then momentum? If we can get the triple attack, the momentum will deal a lot of damage, plus he deals bleed every time he hits somebody, which can be pretty in pretty important, pretty useful. You deal, you deal a lot of damage by stacking this stuff. Lots of damage by stacking this stuff. Okay, there's the focus fire and uh, tenacity is less interesting. You're going to deal 12 to the rabbit. If the character has bleed, you deal less. Fortunately, we get double tenacity, which isn't going to really help us here. 12 to him. 6 to him. If we have too much armor, we apply bleed. Some RPG-ish style... Style would be good on this game. Dialogue's in a little story, maybe. Yeah, there's really there's really no story. The game is in early access, it should be noted. If I could hit you twice, I could reduce your damage, but unfortunately I cannot. Unfortunately, I just draw my stupid tenacities, which means we're gonna take a lot of damage this turn. Can't do anything more than that. And I'll give you the focus fire. Really? That was a terrible, terrible draw. We need more cards, better cards. This is gonna hurt. Yep, ouch. Ouch. And ouch. Most unfortunate. You can see there, he's gonna deal 10 plus this. But they don't get to go this turn. Only he does. If you deal vitality damage, you're gonna cause bleed. You're gonna hit him. We can probably use the solid footing. Um, why don't we bleed you? Probably should have gone on the front. You're attacking whom? Him? Yeah. Um, we can just get more and more bleeds on you guys. Actually, this won't kill you. Alright, just more bleed. Stack the overwhelm, I guess. We did two damage on that one. Hooray! Um, you can now have the solid footing. Second wind, please. Vanguard in the front will just kill you. And then you can gain the armor back. No vitality damage means no bleed. So it's going to be fine. You're going to do the same thing. You can hatchet him. Gaining a little bit of the old charge there. Who are you attacking? You're attacking my boy there. Battering Ram is not... Okay, what we can do... Toe to toe. Whenever this character attacks an opponent on the same lane, gains 6 armor. Well, guess what, my friend? What do you do? Permanent deals 5 damage to opposing rank. I mean, I could battering ram you. Could also just ensure that you die next turn. I can ensure... Yeah, that's fine. 
You're gonna hit both of us, but it's only five damage. Actually, I actually didn't realize it hit everybody. Oh no, he dies to the bleeding. Of course he does. Um, what's cool now, so Taunt, I can actually pull you forward and then you again don't get to attack. Second wind. Strike. Strike. And they're dead. Love to see it. Renowned somehow. Heavy blow, deal weapon damage plus eight is a lot. And I'm gonna take it. That's, that's big damage. That's a lot of damage. Search part has been handled. We did take a lot of health there. Lightfoot, we could buy cards. We could buy cards. Lean pair of messenger hairs, catch the breath. Do I want to actually buy cards? Do I would I rather save my money? I guess we'll look. Let's take a look at what, what you got. Type formation. Each character in your rank gains eight armor. Not bad. Another toe to toe. Brace. Brace can be pretty interesting. The next time it gives you anticipation. The next time this character loses vitality from attack, they gain twenty armor for every stack of anticipation. Not bad. I think I would actually, if anything, take another toe to toe. It's just really, really good. Like, if you can get that on multiple characters, you're set. Execute. We're just... We're not going to do the execute. I don't remember what it does, but I don't think I like it. And another combat. This one is going to be actually harder. But considering my health situation, I'm not, like, super confident in my ability to deal with that. So I think we're going to avoid it. This is also looking like a pretty damn difficult combat. Holy crap. Debilitating shot deals eight damage, applies one winded. You lose one stamina for every stack of winded and then it's removed. Safety in numbers is definitely gonna pop off. I gotta kill these guys probably first. You can use this. Into a front row greatsword. You're attacking him, you're attacking him, you're attacking him. Pop that off, please, and then honestly just use the momentum. Taunt does nothing for us here. Not super great. I'm a little bit nervous. A little bit nervous. Ow. I probably should have given you the other thing, but okay. All right. They're going to do eight to you, and they're going to do eight to you. Wow, they're going to kill you. Nope. Round shield. Guard coming in. We'll second wind you now. Just protect yourself, please. Okay, we're not going to die. That's really nice. I'm going to focus fire the big boy here, even if I don't attack him just yet. And we're going to take a swipe at you and take a lot of armor. He's going to have nothing to do next turn because he's going to get two winded. Which means minus one. Yeah, yep, 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 yep. Not a whole lot to do. I will probably just withdraw you. But now it's your turn. You die to the bleed, which is really nice. You can do a heavy blow. Do I want to kill you now? More 18 armor, you're gonna... Yeah, I definitely want to kill you. Please die. Because if we have more than 18 armor, he applies 4 bleed, and that's damage that we cannot stop. And it's a lot of damage that we cannot stop. And you missed. Okay. Very nice. Turn. Deal 8 damage if this character's in the front row gain vulnerability. 
Okay, we're not going to actually take any damage here. Um, I think we're just going to... Try to kill? Doesn't look like we're actually going to be able to do it. He gains lots of armor from toe-to-toe. -to -toe. You see that. You see how crazy toe-to-toe -to -toe is. You deal 10 damage. You deal 10 damage. Why don't you... I mean, honestly, if we can get the bleed, just battering ram him into the back. We'll take less damage now. So far, the tenacities have been dead every time. Which isn't great. Um, you're in the front. Can I kill you? I reckon that we can. Vanguard for the kill. Probably should have done more damage with him and been able to use the toe-to-toe -to -toe on you. But these should these guys should be pretty easy to kill. We need four and two damage. Not guaranteed. And not given. You guard once. You murder this guy. You guard and just a whole bunch. Okay. Pretty solid. Didn't actually take any health damage that turn, I think. Strike for the kill. Not bad considering Cartwright has leveled up, which is nice. We all bleed on target ally. Apply that. Yeah. I guess we just take the Vanguard for another attack. The rush is pretty solid. Is it that solid? I mean, stacking bleed just makes bleed even better. You'll deal three damage and apply three bleed. Which is another six damage. Making it nine, which means that it's usually worse. I guess we'll just take Vanguard. Always happy to level up. I guess we'll put one more there. What you got for me? Whenever this character ruins a card, they gain charge. I don't really... Like, ruining is like, um... You make the card crappy. Changes the card into a ruined card. They gain 5 charge, but I've never actually seen it. On the turn, this character is less than 30% vitality. They gain rage. Their damage is doubled. Pretty solid. Whenever you draw an additional card, gain 2 charge. So the turn, if you're less than 30% vitality. Let's go with the Wrathful. If we're in a bad spot, we'll get out of it. Not, not the, I, I know there are some better things there. Thief, Heavy Patrol, or Off-Duty Guards. Dare I take the fight? Because I'm greedy and I, I, want, I don't want to lose the money and I don't want to pass up on the free money. This was a mistake. <laughs> This was a mistake. That's very scary. 10, 10, and 10. 10, yeah, 10 and 10. 30 damage coming when, or, wow, yeah. Of course, you're all attacking the rabbit. Of course you are. <sighs> well, Put the bleed on him. We can do a toe to toe into a solid footing. He's only going to take one damage, and you can do use a guard. Taking bleed damage, we'll be able to kill one of them pretty pretty easily. We can do this. We can do this. I have fought harder battles. Oh, that stack and fury is really gonna suck. That charge. Okay, once again. Um, let's break your arm. 
gain some armor already. Uh, let's just rush you. Pop. Pop. And pop. Four damage and he dies next turn. Beautiful. I can give you take cover. Now you can take Vanguard. These guys deal damage if we have a lot of armor. We apply bleed. Oh, that's real bad. That's real bad. Vanguard on you. Because we do have a lot of armor. And bleed will just straight up kill our people. Le Pacificata! Welcome. Okay. Okay. You're dead. You're attacking him. And you're attacking him. Character has bleed, you deal less damage. I mean, I think we can just take one of you out. The bleed is still gonna suck. The battering ram is enough to kill you. Except now you're dealing 12 damage, but it'll get taken on the nose by the armor. Which I'm fine with. You're gonna die next turn. You're dead this turn. Again, I'm still probably most scared of the bears. You're just gonna take hits. Actually, you're not gonna take any health, though. Um, the great sword swing. Let's just do it. Try and deal as much damage as possible. You get attacked for 18. Actually. This, I'm not going to gain the additional armor that I could gain through toe to toe. This game is called Banners of Ruin. It is uh, kind of like Slay the Spire, a little bit of Gordian quest in there. It's really good. It's really, really fun. P pretty game. Horses ride humans. No doubt. Oh, okay, we took one damage. I forgot about the charge. We don't have any armor. You do less damage with bleed, and you both are bleeding. I can just kill you. Pop off that second wind, please. I think we want to just try and take out these guys in the front now. It's you. You are a scary dude. I should have given him another bleed. I should have given him one more bleed. He would have done less damage and now he's going to really wreck us. Ouch. It's going to hurt. Might as well do toe-to-toe -to -toe for you. And momentum for you and hope that you can gain some armor. I know there's probably a lot of like stat, like things that I'm saying. Momentum for you so you can gain armor. Yeah, that fucking hurt. You are wrathful now. Pop off on you, gaining the armor. You're all in the front. Uh, you'll kill him. With that rage, he's dead. You can take the 12 damage now. Even better, I can move you and you take no damage. That's pretty intense. Evaded and fury. Yeah, you're gonna you hit hard as shit right now. Eight plus eight. Fortunately for us, Rush is going to give us a giant pile of armor. One, two, three. Boom. All of a sudden, we have 35 armor, and we just don't care, do we? 
how we go. The strike on him. Oh, I could have used momentum and dealt even more damage. Holy crap. Oh, that was a little bit of an oversight. I want to use momentum on you, I think. Takes the one bleeding damage. Not a big deal. We don't take a lot of damage, though. Nope. No health. We are very low on health. We need to kill this guy. Otherwise, he's going to deal 17 plus 25 percent. Uh, actually, your greatsword will kill him. Yes, it will. Follow it up with the heavy blow. We lived, gained a card, poison tip, apply three poison. I do quite like quick hands, however. Quick hands, people. Draw one card and then preparation. At the start of your turn, draw an additional card for every stack of preparation and ticks down by one. These are all really good. I like kick a lot. I'm going to go with the quick hands. And we gained our first equipment. We gained our first equipment. Now we can see. Crossbow. 13 damage. I kind of, I mean... Billhook I really, 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 really like. And even though this does less damage by like a huge amount, the ability to move people around with that Billhook. Hey, Marius Hjornovic. Good evening, welcome. Dude, YouTube is popping off tonight. I feel like I got so many people here from YouTube and like nobody on Twitch. That's uh, usually the opposite, kind of cool. Mariuski. Marius? Marlis? Marius. It's a big damage. Ugh, it's a big damage loss. I can't do it. Right? There's two more damage to one target. But hitting everybody. I mean, this can be 36 damage. That's pretty crazy. I've never used the ranged attacks. 13 damage for one cost. It's pretty nice. I don't think we're going to take either, any of them. Carry on. Carry on. Off-duty guards are here, which means that they are going to be drunken guards, which is really nice. Overzealous, mess with the black bear, we could buy cards. I'm just gonna take your money, please, and thank you. <sighs> Execute. We're just gonna take we're just gonna take a combat. Car uh, Cartwright is gonna die, almost certainly. <laughs> almost certainly going to die. You're attacking Cartwright? Uh, first of all, we can half of you. Frankly, Vanguard you to death. Five to everyone plus the eight. You need the guard. Honestly, the focus fire doesn't really do much. Doesn't really interest me. But uh, I guess I'll put it on you. And then you deal 20 damage straight up. It's hard to argue with that. Let's just kill him. One. One away. Mm. So close. No actual health damage taken. Vitality damage, I should say. <sighs> he does deal extra damage because he's at such low health. We gotta remember that. Fortunately... You got a pretty bad draw for an aggressive move. Yeah, okay, the rush will do. You're attacking him. What is this? Focus fire? Could probably just murder you down, I think. Uh, with momentum here. Discarding tenacity. 
yeah. Just got a guard, gain three charge. We'll get her a tenacity. He now will deal one times three, which each of those taking three extra damage. So four times three, 12, plus the bleed, plus the focus fire. I don't actually know how much it's gonna do. It's gonna deal more. Four, overwhelm starting to stack, five. Oh baby. Pretty good damage. We could just straight up kill him. Uh, you'll deal more damage. Actually, wow! That did 42 damage! Because of the stacked overwhelm. Crazy. Um, I'm just more concerned with you. Actually, uh, having him at low health is making rage just go completely insane. Just popping off on people. Just murdering them. The winded I don't care that much about. Reduces one of our energy, but it's not a big deal. Are you attacking him? I could probably kill you. Yeah, I can. You deal so much damage. It, it actually doubles. I gotta remember that. It actually doubles his damage. Which is kind of fucking crazy. Invigorating blow. Deal 8 damage. If final damage is dealt, is 13 or more. Gain 2 stamina and gain 4 restoration. That is amazing with our Wrathful. Dealing double damage. All our, wrath, our Wrathful guy just gets it. And he's going to heal himself. You're perfect. Denver, you've leveled up, gaining access to a new card. Sadist Cutting, draw a card for each status effect on target opponent. Deal eight damage to target and all enemies of the same race are Haymaker. Deal weapon damage, opponent moves or swaps position in lane. Move or swap opponent to new target. I did not play a Bard's Tale 4, nor any of them, in fact. Sadist Cunning, not useful now. Potentially useful in the future, and I'm, I'm, I'm actually going to give you an additional will. What we need is new armor like crazy. Combat. Decoy. Select a card. Move it to this lane, plus one to its counter. Or Blackfoot Stash. We can remove cards here. Possibly removing a... Strike. I think I'm gonna remove a strike. Yeah, elite combat, or we don't fight the elite combat. And I'm gonna say right now, we don't fight the elite combat. <laughs> now here's the choice. Smithy, we get provisions. Tavern, we can hire party members. Or monastery, we heal. There's no way that I'm not taking Tavern. Because we can get two characters. And that makes such a difference. First of all, we got our boy over here with a short bow. Move to front rank, deal eight damage. If I'm able to move, plus one damage. Plus one da stamina spawns hit and run. So you can kind of like pop back and forth. Deal weapon damage plus two damage to every card in your hand and gain preparation. That's awesome. Trishan, deal five times, five damage, X times for each unique status effect on the opponent. Can be really, really good. And you have inspiration. Everyone on this character's rank starts with one in vigor. You also have superior heavy armor. So you're going to be super winded, but you have very, very, very hard heavy armor. This means he's only going to have two of these things per turn. That is not very good. That was you. You're a strategist. Whenever this character forcefully moves an enemy, apply one overwhelm. Valshan, you can apply a lot of bleeding. You have a heavy shield. False opening is a really nice way to uh, not die. And it gives you rage. Battle Temple. If active characters in front rank deal one times five damage. In back rank, deal five. It's okay. 
And the heavy armor is 30 armor, and we gain two winded every turn. You guys are all crappy as hell. They're actually all pretty bad. In fact, I think the only one that I'm willing to take is you. We need to get rid of this heavy armor or just give you more here. Having only two is, is, not, is not very good. You can't even use arsenal. You can't even use it. <laughs> oh, what the fuck? Yeah, well, we're still going to hire him. And you apply deals... Apply, applies target stacks of poison to each adjacent character, but we actually don't have any way for you to do that. It actually really sucks. This was like the worst possible draw that we could have had. These guys all are terrible. And we're going to enter the hideout, and we're going to fight ourselves an elite. Fight Sledge! Let's go! Rabbit here, you've got attrition. You, they have no unique status effects, so <laughs> nothing is going to happen there. You guys are immediately going to kill him? Come on! Jesus. You're dealing 32 damage to him on that first turn. Giving him two bleed. Awful. At least you do deal double damage. The bleed sucks. Shrug it off. Every time this character receives more than 15 damage from an attack, they gain charge and bolster. Well, that's not great. Uh, but I think it's still worth it to just. Chop you guys down. He's going to get two bleed, which means he's going to go down to five hit points. No matter what we do. It's tough. Please don't attack him again. You guys are attacking everyone. Um, short bow. Well, first of all, just great sword him, please. And your battering ram will, I mean, the short bow, that's not going to kill him? Hit and run. What does it do? Oh, you deal 8 damage and you gain hit and run. Deal 8 damage and apply 3. Oh! Yeah, okay. We'll take the kill. We move to the back rank. And you're attacking nobody now, so why don't you just battering ram his ass into the back row? You can second wind. I honestly will just withdraw you. So he gains armor. Say is cunning. Draw a card for each status effect on target opponent. You do have three. You could have a pretty big move here. <sighs> Final damage dealt is more. We can heal from this. 16 damage. We gain restoration. So now we're actually healing. End of the turn. can damn near kill you. Tenacity does nothing. You don't attack. You miss everyone. Tenacity's really nice. You're still wrathful, but you're at least healing up a little bit, which makes me incredibly happy. Arsenal, you can't do it. Uh, we can just kill you in the back. Obviously, at this point, just a heavy blow. 
You're going to move position and gain retaliate. You can gain toe to toe, I guess. It doesn't really matter. You do nothing, mind you. Which is really, really nice. He does gain five armor every turn. Um, you can do toe to toe. And then you can actually doing the bleed is probably better with you because you just deal so much damn damage and now we can just stack bleed up like crazy as well as giving you a crap load of armor actually I'll give you this and I guess we're just giving momentum probably should have done the momentum first but it's fine So, so far, I'm looking at my Friday numbers here, and it's, uh, it's a quiet night. It kind of fits into what I thought. I, I did one other Friday stream, and it was another very quiet night. Um, you can do quick hands. Just Vanguard. Oh, you retaliated. But you're only attacking this guy, so that's fine. Um, I should have done this. Vanguard. Taunt does nothing. We just accept that he, I mean, he gains nine armor at the beginning of his turn. It's a lot. Unless you moved in front of him. Because you also have toe to toe, you do. Do you deal damage? No. Attrition now. Five times X for each unique status effect on the opponent. Plus a momentum here. Are y'all ready to seal, uh, see some big damage? Ten damage. Ten damage. Fourteen. Sixteen. Ooh! Beautiful. Double team. Gain six armor and one charge. If this character has any neighbors of the same race, they all gain twelve and five. We're not dual wielding. Deal three by ten. I don't really like any of these. I mean, six armor is better than just your basic guard. So I'll take it. And we just get superior heavy armor. Two of them, which is awful. I don't like it. I can't believe we're just getting this crappy armor. We can get excellence, unity... Or wealth. I think I'll take excellence. Level up a character. Just one. Now my question is, is does it keep their number here or does it actually wipe it out? Because if it wipes it out, then leveling up characters is pretty bad. We could also just heal up. Let's find out. We'll level up the bunny. We have two bunnies. You have leveled up. You gain a new inspiration. Bastion! Son of their turn, if this character has no allies in their rank, they gain 15 armor and one stamina. Wow. Whenever this character plays a card costing vitality, or will, they gain 10 vitality. Because you're the guy with the bow. I like it. And definitely this. Now. Nope, he did not. He did not start back at zero. He did not start back at zero. We didn't take the heal, which... <laughs> could be a big mistake. We'll find out now. You're attacking the top, you're attacking the bottom. Healing damage, okay. I guess we're all attacking him. Deal eight weapon damage for every card in hand. It's pretty solid. 
Was it? How much damage did I actually do? <laughs> Didn't see it. <laughs> I was expecting more. Um, you don't have the rage, so you're the guy that we want to do the damage with, above all else. You can take the hits. We'll just move you back here. Guard with you. And uh, momentum with you. Easy peasy. So it is quiet. I wonder if it's the game. Always a possibility. You know, I mean, this is not the most popular of games. And definitely not like a streaming... Uh, a streaming bastion. Let's see. Am I like the only person streaming this game? That is a ruin. I am the only person streaming the game. There is 892 followers, so it's not like there's nobody paying attention. Interesting. Okay. You're attacking mid, you're attacking mid, you are attacking. You guys are just trying to murder my dude. That's what you're trying to do. Well, I'm not going to stand for it. More than 18 armor. So I actually want you to hit him first. So, with that in mind... We're going to battering ram you out. Should have great sorted first, people. Uh, you can use this. Honestly, I'll use the sadist's cunning right now. I kind of wish I hadn't. <laughs> You can focus fire on the big dude. And now you can just gain... Well, do I want you to gain a ton of armor? Not really, actually. Nope. Nope. Uh, oh, I should have uh, attacked this guy. With the focus fire, too? Yeah. Okay. And I don't want you to gain armor because then you get four bleed. Which frankly wouldn't be the worst thing. Or it's going to kill you. <laughs> Entirely possible that it's just going to be death from that. Uh-huh. Four bleed. Actually a crap load of damage. Unfortunately, yeah, okay. Not great. Where are you attacking? The rabbit on the bottom? Um, you can do the attrition. One with the overwhelm starting to stack up. Heavy blow will kill you. Sharpen steel, perhaps on you? You deal a lot less damage when you're bleeding. And uh, frankly, you can just move him forward. Nobody's attacking anybody. He's got five bleed, you're attacking him, and you're attacking him. The bleeds are hurting. But now we've got the invigorating thing. Yeah, giving us a ton of armor, invigorating. Um, we're gonna second one with you. Short bow. And the short bow will get a kill. Back rank. You're just gonna deal a crap load of damage because you're enraged. 
which is fine. We're kind of like... I mean, are we going to get back to where we were at the start of things? I think so. We're attacking him. It's not the tenacity that we want. Draw a card. Big freaking damage. Thing is, is, we don't actually want to kill you right now. Because we want, we want the restoration to heal us. So we'll kind of have to see how that plays out. Because right, we're going to lose one life and then we're going to gain two. Gonna lose one life, then we're going to gain one. Double team. Invigorating blow. Yeah, but you don't end your you won't be able to end your turn. I know it's weird, but let's just farm the healing <laughs> and get right back to where we were at the start. Shall we? Um, anything that just deals like a tiny bit of damage? Almost enough to kill you. We got our one more restoration tick. We're back to 15. And then we can get the kill. The coup d'etat. Beautiful. I mean, not beautiful. We're still a pretty low health. Pop them around, move around, gain money, gain cards. Deal three damage. If target dies, draw three cards. That's not really great. Another heavy blow. Big damage. Only for one character. Whereas Vanguard is always 10 damage, basically. Not that appealing. We skip and move on. Guarded transport. A chance for riches. Heal party by 50%. This isn't going to disappear because it had like a timer there. Apparently it's going to disappear. Dare we fight the elite? We dare. Could be game over here. I've definitely got my ass kicked by elites before. Fight the elite. Oh shit, yeah. These guys, these guys, man. These little ender clippers. What do they do? First, they're going to start off with venom. They gain one venom. Whenever this character attacks, they apply one poison. And they move around. And they're just going to start stacking up poison like crazy. And poison just stacks up like crazy. Fortunately, we have all this tenacity going on for us. Um, where it's actually not that big of a deal. These guys look scary, but they're going to move to the back. And then they deal a lot less damage from the front, so it's actually not too bad. I will focus fire on one of you. And uh, we will double team. Do I want to double team on the hatchet? No. We're just going to start popping off on somebody. Double team you, gain a bunch of armor, and because we have a neighbor of the same race, gain a lot of charge. You're attacking who? Him? You just gain more armor, please. We'll see how it goes. The tenacity didn't work for us up until this point, but I actually picked it up. It's something that purges all status effects on us, specifically for these guys. This is like, this is what we're here for. This is why we bought that thing. And actually, and actually, you with the toe to toe, so you can keep gaining more armor. Swipe them in the back, please. Get all that bleed and stuff on them, whatever. And then uh, draw a card. Draw me a lot of cards, please. For each status effect, they have four. Thank you. Very, very yummy. 
We're gonna go with the second wind tier. Kansas is free, so we'll put it on, yeah. Arsenal. Deal a lot of damage, plus two for every card in hand. What do I want to do? I'm actually not going to use this, because what I want to do is pop you into the back, and then you just deal so much less damage. So his armor's raised to 35, then it's like damage. Not a big deal. What I would really, really like to do for you. Get the strike. Get the vanguard. Now we're dealing 75% more damage. We need to get this, the 13. I don't think 75% is enough. Fourteen! Yeah, yeah, it was. Nice. So, we gained a bunch more energy back. Not that we can do anything about it. Also, not that restoration. Restoration will heal us. Almost a full heal. Now comes... Now comes the Sinister Strikes. One poison. Two poison. Three poison. Four poison. Hitting him as well. Are you? I hope you're not hitting the same guy. Oh God, you are. Burrows is <laughs> in big trouble. Burrows is the one who uh, does not have tenacity either. You saw that he just took a shitload of damage, and it increases by one each turn. What we need to do, I think, at this point, Burrows. Burrows needs to toe to toe. And then pop off with the short bow. Plus one stamina. You can shoot him. Hit and run. We'll kill this guy. We do it. We take it. He's in the back now. He's going to start gaining natural armor on his own. Bose is going to live. He's good. Bose is going to live. Right? Because he's got, uh, he's got this. Bastion. This character has no allies in their rank. They gain 15 armor and 1 stamina. It's pretty good. You guys are all just dealing 5, 5, and 5. The crossmen are so weak if they're in the front. Next target for sure is this guy. And we're going to go with the heavy blow. We're going to put poison on ourselves by doing that. Oh, crap. Applies eight poison to opponent opposite rank. That's him. He's going to get... Oh, 17 poison on him. Jesus Christ. And he can't purge it. That's really bad. That's really, really, really bad for us. Really bad for us. Taunt only works if it's vacant, right? Yes. To move them forward. Just, just hit him. Who cares if we get the poison on you? I, I don't. So you can't use attrition. And uh, I guess you can just do the momentum. Doesn't matter what we get rid of. This next turn is going to hurt. I'm not going to lie. The beginning of our own turn is going to hurt a lot. We are about to get slapped in the face for big damage. The Bastion helps. Oh yeah, he didn't get to go yet. Can we kill him? Rush will definitely help. It's gonna kill him. Who cares about the Venom? Right, he's got um, Retaliate, so we're taking damage, including the poison, but he dies. He dies to poison at the beginning of his turn. We don't care anymore. Now we can start taking out you guys. Toe to toe is giving you piles and piles of armor. We'll give you more armor. More armor for you. 
More armor for you. More armor? More armor. Tenacity will clear him of all status effects, but he doesn't have any, so it's okay. Burrows is gonna be fine! He took uh, 20 damage, 20 vitality damage, which ain't great. But it is what it is. Yeah, there's the hits, it's fine. Hassan Bani, my friend, it's been so long. How you doing? Busy with your newborn? Am I right about that? You had a you had a child this year? Maybe not a newborn anymore. A couple of months ago. Double team won't help us here. Nice. Um, we're gonna just swing at everyone. Who do you deal damage to? Who are you attacking? In the back. Hitting him in the back, which means we definitely need to uh, protect you. We'll just well, we'll double team you, give you more armor back there. You can apply more bleeds to everyone. Why not? Six months now. Yeah. Wow. It has been that long. Life's been busy. Life is crazy, crazy, crazy busy. <laughs> I have not played Total War Troy yet. Make me do a metal scream. Oh boy. All right, hold on. I gotta bring up the lyrics. Because I don't remember them. I looked it all up. We got it, we got it. Oh, they're, they're far back. I apparently did a lot of Googling today. What did I have in mind? There's, there's at least two songs that I remember. Oh yeah. <laughs> swing, bada bada, swing, bada bada. Gotta get loose, gotta get low. Why do your eyes paralyze me? What makes me feel this way? Just carry me away with silence and heartbeats, this rapid thinking about your embrace. Oh, we're going into like late 2000s hardcore now, so you know it's like, this band was always super emo with their lyrics. <clears throat> I feel ill prepared for this. Why do your eyes paralyze me? What makes me feel this way? Just carry me away with silence and heart. <laughs> Holy shit. <laughs> I couldn't do it. Hold on, hold on. Let me try again. I got it. This is what happens. This is what happens when you don't when you're not a metal singer. Just carry me away with silence and heartbeats. Last rapid thinking about your embrace. Oh. I was not ready for that, man. I tell you what. I was not I was not ready for that. You did grunts at Underground Concert 94. I was uh Desire 94. I was eight years old. I think I was listening to <sighs> the first album I ever bought was in Mexico and it was like Sounds of the Jungle. <laughs> it's really nice. The second album I ever bought was, was Britney Spears. No, Spice Girls. Spi when, was, when was Spice Girls, guys? That was the second album I ever bought. 94, they formed in 94. 96, so two years later, after you were doing grunts at an underground concert, I was buying a Spice Girls album. So, you know, that's just what you do sometimes. <laughs> All right, back to the fight. It's an elite fight, it's scary, we gotta be serious. You're just attacking. We're gonna do a little damage, okay, move forward if possible. We got some momentum to possibly use here. We could battering ram. 
You guys are gonna all do this winded crap. Um, let's use second wind. Maybe we draw something nice. Tenacity. Perfect. Remove all those poison counters. All those poison counters are gone. Um, you can probably use the armor more than anybody else. But I don't really want to battering ram you into the back. Uh, you'll kill him with a battering ram. Indeed. You guys all have vulnerable? Oh, the thing that you did gave you vulnerable last time. That's true. Yeah, just pop that off. We'll take a momentum on you. It doesn't really matter. This is like, honestly, one of the best first encounters that I've had with the clipper enders, those little poison mice that I've ever had. So... Oh, and attrition is just what I wanted. Um, now we're gonna pop that off on you. There's the bleed, and attrition will kill you. One and two. Sometimes just 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 how you gotta do it. Look at the armor we have, by the way, right? I mean, shit is kind of for real with that. 18 damage. I'll use the status cutting. Oh, uh, on you. Burrows did it. Um, invigorating strike. I don't think we're going to actually be able to do enough for the heal. I mean, the vulnerable will cause you to deal 10, but we need to get it over 13, so it's not enough. And, uh, yeah hit him. Not enough to kill, but we got it. Burroughs lives. Really, um, Stead, or Bastion. Bastion is super, super strong. Crazy, crazy strong. I also should start him in the back row. Um, Arsenal? Honestly, sh short bow is probably better. have to move to the front. Then you get the hit and run. And you move to the back. So having you... That's crazy. The AI is not particular... No. The AI is not dumb. I mean, they, they have like... I think they have like set patterns. Um, and I think they kind of randomly target. I don't know if they like... They don't... I've never noticed like a pattern. Sometimes they like all focus in on the one guy that you don't want them to focus in on, but sometimes they don't. And I really don't think that there's like, my suspicion is that it's just roll a dice and, and pick your target. Um, this ability that I just used. Move to the front rank, deal eight damage. If unable to move, plus one stamina, sp always spawns hit and run. Unable to move, you gain the stamina. I definitely need you to start in the back, buddy. You're gonna hit me for 18. I'm not gonna care. We'll give you the guard because you see the poison continuing stacking up. Poison is also really good against the, the AI. I have had builds where I was like all about that poison. It's not that necessary for us here today. He's got a crap load of armor. Um, a second quick hands is really, really good. Hmm. I think at this point now, we just bleed you to death. Bleed, bleed, bleed. We're gonna deal additional damage, but it doesn't matter. Bleed. Bleed. <laughs> Bleed. Take the round shield, sure. I'll put on myself. And, uh, hatchet. Easy peasy. And honestly, I mean, with the AI, it often feels like... I mean, I think they follow a pattern. Like, I've noticed with the Enders, I can now pretty much predict what they're gonna do. As long as I don't let them live too long, we can usually take care of them. Um, again, we're kind of in the situation of making them bleed. Uh, 
you with the short bow. Come up here. Say hi. And then to the back. Um, a second win for you. Cheap sharpened steel, even more bleed. Heavy blow, and you're dead to bleed. I'll just watch him. I'll just let him bleed to death. Look, Ma. No hands. Cartwright leveled up. Gained a card. Wildfire. Deal damage to your opponent party. Deal vitality damage to every stack of bleed or double team. I'll take another double team. And a good equipment this time? Remember this character moves, gain 10 armor. This character moves, gain 10 armor, you say. I don't think it's good enough for us. I might take off the heavy armor. Because they don't, they don't start with anything. actually start with anything, right? They start with no armor, which makes me pretty scared. Then again, on your first turn, you know what? Because you pop around so much, and you've got Bastion, so you start with this. And with your short bow, you move twice? Actually incredible. Actually incredible. One thing we need to do, okay, continue. Move on, Cartwright, you've leveled up. Good for you, buddy. Gain another one here. Two stamina for each status effect on target opponent, meh. Apply bleed and crippled. Four bleed and 10 crippled. Now this character moves, they take, that's actually, I'm in. Hamstring them up, baby. And, uh, I might actually just give you another stamina instead of the will. Yeah. And one thing we need to do, stay in a fight. Yeah, we, we succeeded against the elites, which I have had a run end. The elites are no joke. What we need to do though, combat positions. Burrows, you got to get in the back, buddy. You, you belong on their own. It's a little bit unfortunate that that's the case is it encouraged to specialize your characters? I mean, as much as you can, yeah. Um, like, for example, with Denver here. If I can have the ability to just deal more attacks with him and deal more bleed, I'm going to go for it. But there's RNG, so you can kind of only do so much. We can discard combats, but I want the combats because I want the experience. Let's take it. Let's go for it. A bunch of thugs. You have a crap load of stuff here. You start, yeah. You start there with 15, which is really, really nice. It's less than we had before, but I think it's still worth it. <sighs> Unfortunately, double team is no longer good unless you're popping into the front here. So you're dealing 12, less if you're bleeding. So I want to, uh,. You guys are both attacking my boy in the front. So we're going to go with one strike. Two strike. That way you're bleeding. And you're only dealing six. And you're going to retain it for the next turn as well. You're getting hit for 18. I'd rather you not. Um... It's only drawing one card. It's pretty crappy. Now you, you can do this. Oh, what? If the character has any neighbors, because he's behind you, it still works. Holy crap. All right, well, solid footing. It'd be cool to replace your characters with your pets. 
If you could, if you could like somehow scan them in. The game is in early access still, so you know. We'll, we'll see what happens. We'll see what happens. Hamstring is new. That's for you. And they do move around a lot. Moves forward if possible. Moves forward if possible. Yeah, you're all just gonna try and move forward if possible. Um, we'll get the bleed on you. And at this point, you're attacking the bunny, but the bunny can't do anything. Attrition, however, will do 15 damage to your face right now. 10. It dealt 30 damage to your face. Hmm. You have a cat and a rabbit? My, um, actually my, my wife's business partners have a, uh, have a rabbit. The taunt, I mean, this, this is just, uh, a bit, this is like their placeholder art. Vanguard, this guy is in the Vanguard. Um, yeah, just go ahead and bleed him out a little bit more. No need for tenacity, no need for taunt. Only one guy swinging. It's okay. Animals killing animals with cards the way the nature intended it. The title is spot on. That's right, buddy. <laughs> um, arsenal. Lots of damage. It's actually not that much damage. Two times four. Swaps and moves to a random position. You know, the battering ram here will make you take a crap load of damage and then the bleed will kill you off. We like. We like. Who are you guys attacking? Him and him. No way to really prevent that. I don't mind if you get hurt as much as you, because you are... Uh, you do have that crazy damage when you get underneath 30% health. I guess we're just going to go after you. Wow, that was a surprising amount of damage. Strike. You're not going to take any damage. What am I saying? And then you can have momentum. You all... Oh, I should have given you the momentum. You already have... Damn. You got six charges of this. Oh, you're also vulnerable. Which means... This is going to hurt like hell. It's fine. It's fine. Let's see. We can do a good old double tap. Double team. So good old toe to toe here would be nice. Uh, you. Use it. You move. You gain 10 armor. You shoot. You get hit and run. You move there and you pop back. Why do you go? You always go to the top corner. Which means I want to switch you guys because you should be in the top corner, I think. You're going to die to bleed, so we don't got to worry about that. Toe to toe. Focus fire. Vanguard for a little bit of armor. Double team. Only on you, but it's fine. You die to the bleed. You're gonna die to the bleed. You just have an insane amount of armor at this point. We're just gonna have you gain a bunch of armor. You can give me some quick hands for more draw. You can rush him down. Overwhelm. Overwhelm. And overwhelm. Coupled with all that bleed, baby. We'll take a second wind here. It's a round shield, sure. We can give him more armor. Remove your negative status effects. You would name your weakest character Kenny. Can we actually rename? Ow. Can we actually rename people? I'm gonna hamstring you. Double tap. I mean, whatever. We could just kill this guy. Let's be real. 
Took a little bit of vitality damage. Deal weapon damage and apply one. Second wind is pretty good. Draw a card for each character in the back rank. Back rank characters gain one bigger. Meh. Draw one card and gain one. I think this is a pretty good choice here. Let's see. Doesn't look like it. I see no real option for it. Um, what I want to do though, again, change my combat positions. Because actually, if you're here and you're here, this side I don't mind. You can move to the front and then no matter where you move, you're next to this guy. So back rank will always give us the bonus. Voices in the dark. I've done this one before. It wasn't great. <laughs> A chance to improve or some combat. Um, I think I'm going to give Cartwright a chance to improve. Um, we could force it open. He gains one max stamina. Oh. Is it different depending on the race? I thought it, I, last time I got 10 HP. Yeah, you can gain the max stamina. Open it up. Take the 10 damage. Wait, that was Burrows? What the fuck? I thought it was Cart... <clears throat> I thought it was Cartwright. Did I do it to Burrows? I didn't get a choice. Hmm. Not great. Um, 500 XP for everyone. I mean... Yeah, please. Two levels. What do you got for me, baby? Whenever this character receives damage, the attacker gains one poison. Really nice. Whenever this character receives armor from their armor, they gain double Pestilent. So, I, Pestilent, we don't have any poison yet, so it doesn't really make sense for me to do that. Toxic. Whenever this character receives damage, the attacker gains poison. Or we just gain double... Or it's only from their armor. It's only from their armor. So I'm just going to go with Toxic. We now have a cutthroat Toxic Beaver. Pretty scary. I'll get you up to five there, buddy. Now you, on the other hand, cold-blooded. We're not ruining any cards yet. All bleed applied to this character is converted to poison instead. This is nice because poison is absorbed by armor, whereas bleed is not. Whenever you move an enemy, apply bleed. Uh, none of these are really good. I have never once seen an in-combat ruin. I think this is better. We can remove both of them with um, Tenacious. But if we have armor, then the bleed won't kill us. I mean, we already have one strategist. Do we? No. Kind of makes you the guy to move people around then. Okay, we'll take the Overwhelm then. I don't think any of these are really that good. Take the Strategist, and you can have an additional will. And it's an ambush. So... Looks like we're going for the ambush, folks. Oh, man, the Maker is, is out of wine. We're going to take a very, very, very quick break here. While I go... <sighs> refresh myself. Hey... There's, there's the hair that everybody came here for. That's where it is. And, uh, yeah. Um, hold on a second. I'm gonna run a quick advertisement as well now. I almost never do it. I really should. People recommend. Everyone tells me. Run the commercials. But we're gonna be really quick. Mac Manza, good night. Thanks for stopping by. And I'll be back in two shakes of a lamb's tail. Pertinent? On the nose?
and ready to go. Okay, we're gonna fight. I got a full glass of wine because it's Friday, which means I can get a little drunk tonight. <laughs> which, hey, I have not once mentioned it tonight, but tonight's stream is brought to you by Puppy Stream. In an effort to raise the money for my wife to be happy. <laughs> because we can't afford a puppy. Oh, she really, really wants one. I really, really want one too, but she really, really wants one. For years I've been saying, no, we can't afford it. We can't afford it. We can't afford it. I'm the only one working in the house at the moment. She's starting a business. So we have not been able to like afford owning a puppy, getting a puppy, all the things that are necessary for puppy. And so she was finally like, I need a puppy. I'm giving an ultimatum. I'm like, okay, well we can't afford it still. We can't afford it still. Um, and I was like, you know what? How about this? If you let me stream extra, because, I mean, I, when I'm not streaming, I'm spending, like, streaming means not hanging out with the wife. I love hanging out with my wife. I love streaming. My wife loves hanging out with me. She doesn't really care about the streaming. So we came to an agreement where she's like, okay, since streaming is a possible way for me to raise some money, um, go for it stream two three four times a week with all of the proceeds going toward the puppy farm we're up to 135 after i think we're two two and a half weeks or is this no one and a, half, a little over one and a half weeks now a little bit over one and a half weeks of actually doing it um which is fantastic and just so you know, donations, bits, subscriptions, gift subs, um, all that stuff is just going into the puppy fund. And my wife is very, very grateful. Normally, when we uh, when we reach certain milestones, we perform a song. But she's not here tonight, so it's not going to happen. But Sunday, Sunday, we are going to... Um, she'll be here, and we're going to probably play Sunny Afternoon by the Kinks. And that's my spiel. Also, if you're new here and, you know, you want to support, just, just continue hanging out, watching. And uh, don't forget to follow, because I stream without much notice often. It's not great, but it's the best I can do in my current situation. And you're singing <laughs> some really old music. I want to stream just for fun, but English not good enough. Or not enough. And I don't want to stream for Turkish audience. Are you Turkish? I am uh, Inishte. Did you know that? <laughs> My wife is Turkish. And, uh... Yeah. Cool, 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 cool. Alright. Oh, look at that. You can use the, the mouse, the keyboard for this stuff. Okay. Where are we at? Let's get back into it. Um, we can do a double tap, which we should do. You have so much now. Oh, shit, but you can't. Oh, that's really bad, actually, because you only get armor if you're alone. Well, I guess the double tap will. Seriously? 12 and 5? How am I at 18? Yeah, Bastion only triggers when he's alone, and that's not a great start. Okay, safety numbers, you're popping him. You're popping him. 18, you're fine, and you're topping him for 8. That's okay. Uh, we're going to use a second wind on you. We can use a round shield. I can give you more armor. I'm going to use a quick hands on you. And uh, at this point, yeah, I mean, just go for a strike on the weaker guy. And then solid footing. Everyone's got pretty good armor. 
If you attack him, you're gonna get poisoned, so you watch out. Attack him. Oh, nobody's attacking this guy, are they? Yeah, my bad. These guys, like, they're kind of built poorly because they're the same race, and I got a bunch of cards I like that they're of the same race. But uh, they also can't really be next to each other. Though, frankly, Double team is awesome, and yeah. However, it's time. You're gonna go to the front. Hmm, now we can, what is your last thing? You, when you remove people, you deal more damage. So we actually want you to use the battering ram here. Knock you to the back. You gain that. Okay. Actually, the focus fire would have... Uh, we'll put the focus fire on you. Um, you can now bleed him out. If I give a thousand chain points, could you sing the chorus of my name? Is that just the chorus? Hi, my name is... What? My name is... Who? My name is... I mean, if you... I'll, I'll take a request if you want. It, it, sure. Gotta use the channel points. <laughs> this shit don't come for free. I do know him. I just... Didn't I just... Didn't I just say the chorus? I just don't remember that that's the chorus, necessarily. Forgive me. It's been... Uh... Actually a long time since I've really listened to it. Say this cunning. Drawing a bunch of cards. Yeah, okay. You can do a heavy blow, though it's not great. This will give 8 damage and get your bleed up to be higher. No, it's not quite enough. This will give 16 damage and you'll die to the bleed next turn. You're going to die right now, actually. That was a bad move. Because if he lived... Hmm, if he lived, none of these guys would attack next turn. So I kind of screwed that up. I'll just go after you now. Um, you take the armor. But you gotta use the channel points. <laughs> this shit don't come for free. If you don't want this beautiful, these beautiful pipes <laughs> singing for you. Yeah, okay, taking taking the beats. But look at that. Uh Bastion, thank you. Um, great sword isn't let's slow down. Yeah, whatever you want. I mean, you just just the chorus, right? <laughs> if that's what you're into, we pop on you. Great sword for the big beats. Um, we'll put the hamstring on you as well. Hi, my name is what? My name is who? My name is Chicka Chicka Slim Shady. There we go. Let's look up more. Uh, why are all these videos? Why are you looking up videos? Because I looked up YouTube. Hi kids, do you like violence? Wanna see me stick nine inch nails through each one of my eyelids? Wanna copy me and do exactly like I did? Try sit and get fucked up worse than my life is? My brain's dead weight, I'm trying to get my head straight but I can't figure out which Spice Girl I want to impregnate. And Dr. Dre said, Slim Shady, you're a base head. Uh-uh, so why is your face red? Man, you wasted. Well, since age 12, I felt like I'm someone else. Got, <laughs> Cause I hung my original self in the top bunk with a belt. Got pissed off and ripped Pamela Lee's tits off. I don't really remember the flow of it for this part uh, anymore. I smacked her so hard I knocked her clothes backwards like crisscross. I smoked a fat pound of grass, fall on my ass faster than the fat bitch who sat down too fast. Come here, slut. Shady, wait a minute, that's my girl, dog. I don't give a fuck. God sent me to piss the world off. Yeah, okay. Tell you again why you should love rap? Some of it's good. <laughs> Some of it's really good. Some of it's really, really good. I've been listening to, uh, shit, 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 shit. I can never remember anything, generally speaking. Um, 
the Isle of Iran um, by Loyal Carner. The song is fucking great. The song is great. All right, I think we just you just beat him down, right? You're dealing twelve to the back. That's fine. You're just gaining ten armor, which who cares about? You can take the toe-to-toe, -to -toe, but I don't think it's going to matter. And the guard. You slap this guy once and pop the guard up. Uh, yeah. You have yet to hear any that you feel is good. I'm not going to play it here because it's going to get me flagged. Um... Hold on a second. Search. We can find this. We can find this song. Is that how you spell Karna? Um, ain't nothing changed. Uh, maybe this will change your tune. Give it a listen. Oop. Give that one a listen there. It's really good. Rodent simulators treat me great. We have yet to die, which is an accomplishment. It's Friday night. Ah, Rigi, I just gotta say thank you again for bringing me on to Rift Wizard. The game is fucking awesome. It's so much fun. I had so much fun yesterday. Having a lot of fun now, but I just wanted to say again, thank you for the, for gifting me that uh, that game. Just brilliant. It's really, really good. All right, we're gonna short bow it up, pop into the front, pop off there. As we do, we hit and run, pop off there, and we go always to the top, always to the top. Something to remember. Um, you got attrition here. Build the old ten damage. Hmm. Uh, arsenal. Yep, he's dead to poison now. Now you can pop off momentum. Get rid of toe to toe. Attrition. Uh, you're so close. You're so close. One more. And the invigorating blow will deal enough to gain us the health, but it's not now, so. Alright, we still just take actually really solid damage. And now, overwhelm for 14, and we gain the restoration. That's what we like to see. All cards spent. We have tons of uh, tons of uh, energy left over, and now it doesn't matter. I mean, you're just gonna die no matter what you do. Double team doesn't really matter so much. We'll just pop it off. I want you to attack people. Second wind for the arsenal again. Extra damage. Nothing to do with my tenacities here. So we carry on. As we always do. Finally, this is the first time that this guy has been attacked and had the poison uh, applied to him. Come into the front, pop off. The short bow is awesome. Shoot him and go back to the top. Every time. Every time. That's fine. You know what? Not all music is for everyone. You don't have to like it. Apply... Charge... To weapon damage. Equal to weapon damage. Hmm. 
This could work really well with that over. I'm gonna take the war cry. Kind of a thing going where we attack. We have more a couple of cards that attack more than once. Burrows, you're up. Discard all ruin cards, draw that many. All parties. Mm. Strange mist. Restore 12 vitality and remove bleeding from each character in your rank. Yes, I will take that. And I'll raise your will. I mean, there's some kinds of music that I don't like. Is there, actually? <sighs> Is there a genre of music that I just totally like? I mean, it depends on how specific you want to be with genres. I mean, rap, for example, is incredibly non-specific. There are so many different kinds of rap. Um... I like, I mean, I, I like plenty of electronic music. I like some country music. I like, I mean, pop music is just basically encompassing all genres, so why not? Uh, K-pop, I guess I don't like, I guess I don't like K-pop. I haven't listened to a lot. Is there sub, is there sub genres inside of K-pop? Your money, why would I? I can take five damage. Or I get experience. I will take the experience and just take the five damage. Leveling up is critical. There's a crazy weasel. I don't remember what he does. Decoy or combat. Hey, crazy weasel, what do you do? <laughs> want, 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 want to change? Beats yourself? <laughs> we can <seeking> help. <laughs> I was I was ready for that. I don't know if you can tell. I don't know if you can tell. I'm gonna ditch the strike, man. Strikes so deal five damage if it breaks the target armor. Deal a crap load of damage. Another war cry or a brace. Brace is very situational. Shrapnel is also very so they're all very situational. But I guess I have no choice. I'll take the shrapnel. <laughs> <laughs> Let's take the difficult combat. I'm feeling beefy, boy. I'm feeling strong. No lie. I'm feeling strong. Maybe I shouldn't with Burrows having... Um... Damn, I forgot to change the things. Oh, that's a big problem. Actually, it's really nice that you start with the short bow. You are the guys that need to die first. Because you got that fury, you're going to level up over time. I done goofed, but I got saved by having this short bow uh, to start off with. Seriously. Short bow saved my freaking ass. Um... Yeah, you move to the front. Pop off quick hands. Double team would have been nice before, but it is what it is. Use momentum. No, it doesn't work that way. Not too much damage coming at me, which is nice. I did goof though. This fight would have been a lot easier if things were different. You're just gonna boost up your armor like a crazy psychopath. You're attacking him, you're attacking him for three times three. Obviously I need armor. You're really not gonna give it to me. I'm gonna just use the double team on you. And the guard, so that way you don't take the damage. this point can we we can this is gonna deal 12 damage gets it down shrapnel now Ooh. five damage breaks the armor deals another 12 yeah that's pretty tight I could have done even more if I had done it with this guy
Um, you're dead. You're dead to the bleed. You only attack him for nine, and you get three poison for it. We accept it. We accept it, no doubt. We take it. More toxic coming out. It can stack up. That poison can go pretty crazy. The Bastion is just going to make this guy... This guy, even though he's in the back, he's actually the biggest tank that we have. Is that what we want to do? Huh. Maybe we stick him in the front alone. No, the short bow is what gives him so much, also helps him out so much, because whenever he moves, he does crazy things. Okay, War Cry. War Cry plus Invigorating Blow equals heal. Um, we're going to come after you now, I think. Oh. It's not really what we want to do. But I guess it's happening. <laughs> All right. Hey, thank you, APC Ready to Go for the follow. I'm guessing you're also APC Ready to Go waiting for passengers. Passengers. Dizzy's Robin Hood and Technicolor, the old, the the old school one, where Robin Hood was a fox, and John was the bear. Is that right? Was Maid Miriam also a fox, or did we have some cross uh, cross species pollination going on? Don't know. You can pop off that second wind, and. The toe-to-toe -to -toe for you is actually probably what I want to do. Because you're getting attacked by a bunch of people. Well, you definitely go with the invigorating strike here. With the charge means you're going to heal up a little bit, which is really nice. You actually also can get a toe-to-toe. -to -toe. And a second wind. Attrition, huh? Okay, well. Use this, please. I'm actually gonna take damage no matter what, huh? 18? 18! 18? Dude. Okay. Draw me some cards, please. Not exactly what I needed. Put the focus fire on the fat bear. All right, big damage coming in here. Big damage coming in here. Yeah, the safety of numbers makes you guys a little bit annoying to kill because you gain 10 armor every turn. Ouch. It does hurt, but it's okay. You're now in the back. Which is kind of okay to me. You're going to switch to a random vacant position. I'm going to swing at you guys. Is the one that we really want to kill? Should have used Arsenal first. If I was clever. And also just... Frankly... Each character in your rank. Restore 12 vitality. It's so good! Holy crap! Um, Taunt won't do anything here. I'll put this up for you. Okay. That's reasonable. We're still, we're still in a fine position. We're still in a fine position. It's not a problem. We're not scared. We're not worried about a damn thing. I got a, a pretty hefty glass of wine here. And I'm going to drink it readily. I'm going to get four bolster. That's pretty inconsequential. Why don't we just go for kills at this point? Um, round shield, obviously, so you can at least 
Give him some armor? You're attacking me. Um, I'm gonna vanguard on you, because you got... Actually... You're gonna move to a random position, so you can just take the 10 damage. You can just mercolate this guy. Fall with the vanguard and he's gonna die. I'm actually going to war cry? Battering ram seems pointless. I'll say I'd rather have these guys on separate fields so that because they're gonna be the last two and then they still get to alternate. There's that cripple taking a bunch of damage. Which is good. Poison stacking up. Short bow. Uh, don't need to target you. I'm gonna drop you. Pop. You run to the back. Great sword on the front. All kinds of bleeds going on. We'll second wind you as well. Uh, this guy's basically dead even without the strike. Uh, not quite. Now you're dead. And now it's you. You're just going to keep stacking up armor. This would deal 5 times 420 damage. Or would I rather just kill you quicker? I think I'd rather kill you quicker for slightly less damage. You heal up. Nice. That combo is really effective. You give him the, the charge, the, the critical, whatever it's called. Charge. It's called charge. Or give anyone the charge. Quick hands. I just have so much to, to spend here. Um... Why don't you get to the front and not die? Oh, no, you were already dead. The other guy's dead. That's true. Uh, you just bleed, bleed, and bleed. And uh, you armor and armor. Where are you attacking? You're dead and you're going to attack me and it's going to be fine. I could just not. I could just let that not happen. Poison and bleeding just breaks them. And we evaded you. You just gained crap loads of armor. And that is a lot of cards. That is a lot of cards. It's your turn in the back. Can we actually kill you in the back? I'm just going to do the shrapnel on you. I'm not... Well, we can taunt you. Giving you that. We might have been able to kill you. Oh, yeah, you're dead. You're dead. Um, I'll give you a momentum. Drop the cunning. You can use a blue. Heal them up. A, a blue? A brew. A brew. Just double team. That's all we gotta worry about. He dies. You're just gonna gain more bolster and more armor. It's not a big deal, though. Um, invigorating strike is exactly what we want. The charge makes it so you didn't deal enough damage still all i had to do was attack with anything first it's a little sad battering random out of there please double team sharpen steel Heavy blow. His armor is gone just like that. Which is pretty good. Armor for you. Armor for you. Armor. Armor. Oh yeah, we're, we're on fire right now. This guy's got a lot of health, but they are just not able to deal with it. Not at all. Ooh. 
We need new armor? Jesus. I'm gonna war cry for you. Do that. Double tap you. I like, again, you're just gonna gain more fortress? I don't really care. Actually... I mean, this is all we got. Oh, the overwhelm is gonna make it deal a crap load of damage, isn't it? Oh, you're actually dead. Wow, if I had gotten that 16 with you in the overwhelm? Give me some good equipment. An expert bow. An exquisite sword. Exquisite sword is, is definitely good. Six damage three times, better than the axe for sure. This spawns two rapid fire. I don't know what that does. Deal five times two damage with Banish. Is that better than the short bow that we have here? We get 20 armor every time we use the short bow. And we deal 16 damage, whereas this can deal 18 damage possibility of chaining off of uh, the other thing. I don't think it's better. I don't think it's better at all. We keep the expert bow where it is. Any interesting cards? Rotate. Swap party members. Foot or toe or deadly thrill. Nah. I mean, I was very I was very fast. I know I gotta like slow down a little bit sometimes with this ship. Swap position of the target party member. Nah. Foot or toe we already have a few of. We have two of them. That's all we need. That's all we need for the two front row guys. Deadly Thrill. It happens how often for just two extra stamina? Pass. Ah, Denver, you've leveled up. Okay. Okay, folks. Miasma. Miasma is the real fucking deal. Whenever you draw an additional card, apply one poison to a random opponent. You guys see how sometimes, how often we are drawing these cards, right? Sometimes we draw three, four extra cards in a turn when we start stacking up this preparation where we get through quick draw. <sighs> My asthma is crazy. I'm even gonna take another will just for it. And remember, positions. That's what we do. You can start here. That's what we do. Now you guys can buff each other. That's what we do. You can buff each other. He can pop forward and pop back. Not an issue. Crossroads, we clear it out. It's just combat. We'll take the harder one. I mean, we're crushing it right now, folks. We are crushing it. And a miasma on the first turn. You know, we gotta do it. Play it. Put it out there. Put it out there, people. Anybody actually need to heal here? Kind of you. What do we have? Three times three. Stab with a little bit of bleed. Stab with a little bit of bleed. The bear's gotta go first, I think. You need bet Like, we really need some better armor. The last time I played at this point in the game, I had everybody with, like, special kind of cool armor like this guy has with the agile armor. Right? Where, where is it? The agile weasel armor. Actually, we have no bonus attack. Yeah. We're just going to use that. And then we'll start working on you. Taunt does nothing. It's gonna hurt. First turn's gonna hurt. Doesn't matter what we look at. Doesn't matter what we did. First turn's gonna hurt. But you are gonna start taking some poison damage. You're gonna start taking a bunch of poison damage. If we can, I hope we can get the, uh... The overwhelm? That's not called overwhelm. Rush is gonna be pretty good with that 12, actually. Holy crap. Holy crap. Would I rather just murder somebody? 
Yes. That's 13. Another 13. And another 13. Damn. We can deal big damage for you. On everyone, in fact. We can now draw three additional cards. And that's three additional poison, baby! Second wind. I mean, I'd rather have a second wind on you. Solid footing is exactly what we wanted. Um, we can even do shrapnel now. Pop, 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 pop. Solid first turn. I mean, things are gonna hurt. Still. <laughs> um, but still, solid first turn. And we can even, uh, strange, strange, strange mist and heal up everybody to full. Yeah, we're going to take more damage and we're going to go back down, but that's okay. What do you think about changing the light color here, folks? Ooh. You know what I actually think I need? It's too much light. Um, we want you and you. That's not what I wanted to do. Control P. Slide that down to there. Now you're full screen. You're that. I hear that. A little bit more lighting. A little bit more lighting. Very nice. Um, the quick hands. Please. Miasma. For sure. Heavy blow. Is it going to be enough to kill you? Yep. You can do attrition on this guy. Um, the hamstring, if we are able to move you, I don't think we're really ever going to be able to move you. I'll just put the bleed on you. Second wind. Honestly, at this point, we're just getting close to killing you. This one's gonna hurt for sure. This one's gonna hurt for sure. You did die to the bleed, I forgot about that. That helps. We're a little bit low on the ability armor up, I think. I think we need some more defensive capabilities here. And you're just dead. You're just dead. Can I? I can. I can focus fire you. Um, I can even double team you. An invigorating blow. And that's just straight up gonna get me the heals coming in. Okay, I'll follow up here. You can give me a lot more armor. Spawn that take cover, please. What are you guys attacking? Everybody? And everybody. Miasma is pretty good. I mean, I'll give you the toe to toe. That's all we got. Restoring a little bit of health. Now, remember, with this guy, if he goes below 30% health, he just starts murdering everybody. The poison is ticking up. Love to see it. Extra cards being drawn. Can you do the double team here? Which is the arsenal. A little kill here. Actually, 43 damage. I did not frankly expect that much. Um, okay. Well, your exquisite sword. 
You can go toe to toe. Exquisite sword is going to give you. Just can do crap loads of damage and give us a crap load of armor. A combination of toe to toe with all that extra charge damage. You're just dead. Look to the front. Shoot at him. Look to the back. He's got 125 armor. Actually, there's going to be a problem with that at some point. Because enemies will sometimes take from whoever has the highest armor. Um, yeah, obviously just heal everybody up. And we're leaving with basically full health. Except for you, actually. Uh, quick hands, please. The vanguard means you're dead. And now we can start working on you. Attrition will deal 10. And supply more bleed. And we end the turn, and the slaughter continues. I mean, things are going pretty well for us here. There's a momentum and a war cry. A short bow. Hit and run. Do that bleed. Whatever, you can war cry, momentum, touch the guard, draw me more cards, which means more poison, and you're absolutely just, you're just dead. Take you down, you're gonna die to your status effects. It's too good. This, this, you know, I, I had this feeling last time. Give me some good armor, please. No. <sighs> Can't believe I have the starting armor still. We'll take another solid footing. We need more. I think we need a little bit more defensive options. Scruples? We can investigate. Heal everybody or modify deck. Modified deck? I don't know what Scruples is. Okay, let's check it out. I think we're going to have to fight here. Guards approach. Discard three ruins. I don't have any ruins. So I guess we're just going to fight. Just for the fun of things. See, this is, this is a move right here. We can pop off with the war cry. Give him six. Shouldn't doesn't he only deal six damage? He does only deal six damage. As, as tempting as that is, I honestly think this is the better move. You're attacking him. You're just gaining armor, and you're attacking him. Solid footing will do. I mean, an invigorating blow doesn't really do anything, but we'll take it. Let's see what kind of goes on out here. Is you know what? Who's your favorite? I like. I mean, this guy is clearly look how adorable he is. He likes this little tiny dude. He actually kicks so much butt. He really has some of like some of the best things. I'm gonna hamstring you guys because you do in fact move. Uh, take cover, right? Because you're just all attacking me. Fair enough. Well, then you're gonna start bleeding, my friend. Spot with a vanguard. And you already got four bleed. And we're taking no damage as of yet. I missed the intern button. Is 
like I said, I was, uh, I'm experimenting with the Friday stream. And I feel like most people, some of my regulars, people who wander in, Friday seemed to be a busy night. All right, we can just get a kill here. Nice. Um, pop in the focus fire on you. Probably something we want to do. Who's getting attacked? You, you, and wow. Okay. Well, we'll use a second wind. I'll use the toe to toe. It's not going to help us now. And I'll use the momentum on you. Probably better to use it on the rabbit. I mean, honestly, this guy just goes insane. This is going to suck. With the vulnerable there as well. Unfortunately, it still only does two damage, so it wasn't that bad. Yeah, but you got that cripple damage. Punk ass bitch. That's right. Uh, double team. Double team. Quick hands, please. Pretty lame uh, first move. I'm gonna go after you next. Doesn't really do anything to move you. You're just gonna die no matter what, so who cares? Poison does tick up on you, which is nice. Yeah, we do have the vulnerable, ah, the bleed. Bleed does kind of suck in through there. It's got 15 charge going on him right now, though. Holy crap. Okay, first of all, my asthma. Yes, please. Second of all, strange mist on these guys. Heal them up, remove the bleed. I think the great sword is probably what I want to do here. Short bow. Shoot at the bear. Hit and run. Shoot at the bear. Cause the bleed. Frankly, I think drawing more cards is probably the best thing we can do. We can do a strike on you, allowing shrapnel to break through and then hit you for a bunch more damage. Would have made sense to honestly use you for that. You would have killed him. You would have straight up murdered him. Yeah, you discard. I'm saving. I'm saving for something with this guy. Maybe the heal. Maybe uh, just a multi hit. It is nice to see the poison just ticking up like that, though. That's why I like the poison so much. Battery ram, huh? Another great sword. You're so close to being dead. I mean, I'm just gonna war cry you again. And just not use you for anything. You're dead. Second wind, draw me a short bow, please. That's that's beautiful. You can hit him once. Uh, oh, you want to target? You can hit him. Attrition ain't bad here. Sure, discard it. I'm just kidding. <laughs> Twenty four. It's absurd. What am I even waiting for here? Something to heal him? It's only gonna be four healing. Pop that off. You cannot use Sadist Cult anymore. You're attacking him and you're attacking him as well. So we'll use this. Gain the guard. And that's it. 
Hopefully we're gonna draw into something. I mean, this guy... It's actually fucking insane. He gets a godly, just godly amount of armor. Hanging out back there by himself. Yep, hamstring him. Round shield. Take cover. Honestly, the rush... Is probably just worth it. With the overwhelm on top. Ay. It's pretty beastly. Still not. I mean, okay. okay. Nope. Not enough to kill him. Not even with the poison and the bleed. But, yeah, whatever. He's dead next turn. He's going to gain more fortress. Don't really care. You're going to die without me doing anything next turn. Doesn't worry. Easy peasy. Everybody dies. You got 211 armor, which is, you know, a real thing. Arsenal can just kill you. Uh, it doesn't just kill you. Now we draw it. Pop. 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 We can heal everybody a little bit. And then you die? Yes, you do. Poison and then the bleed takes you out. Cartwright is level 6. It was an easy fight again. Invigorating blow times 2, I would like. Invigorating blow works well with the kind of setup that we have here. And you know, I will say, this is a def very different build than I have played with in the past. Right? I, I played through the game once and we had a very different setup than we did now. So that's kind of cool, you know? It's good to know that. Double the active stuff. Another hamstring. I'll take the hamstring. A weapon cache, brawlers, or a knife merchant. Weapons and armor. Give me some better armor, please. Please, God, give me better armor and not just more weapons. <gasps> First of all, battle axes. 11 damage. If it breaks armor, you deal extra damage. Meh. Survivalist gear at the start of your turn. Gain two restoration and two armor. May not exceed 15 stacks of each. Steadfast. Start of their turn, this character gains eight armor. So we're definitely switching stuff out. And the scoundrel's cloak. Start of every turn, you gain anticipation if you don't already have it. I don't know about that one. Survivalist Cloak I do quite like. Steadfast I do quite like. We're replacing the light armor and the medium armor. You're going to start off rather weak, but I think it's going to be worth it. You're going to start off actually stronger. But in time, you will scale up. You got the shield. You should be okay. You have a little bit less to start off with. I'm willing to. I'm willing to go for it. That's what I was looking for for so long. So good. Guarded transport, sanctuary. We don't need a chance to heal. I don't think we need new weapons and armor. A chance for riches? Sure. It must be valuable to warrant that kind of... It's an elite. We're, te we're, we're just testing out our new gear right off the bat. He's got no armor on the first turn, mind you. But, toe-to-toe -to -toe is going to come through here. Everyone is attacking you. <laughs> so, good, 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 great. Get that armor, please. Not bad. Arsenal, the weapon damage. I should have done that first like a damn fool. It's okay. We got 24. You have survivalist gear. And you're gonna bleed. Every target for three. The damage? Still, I think it's worth killing you guys in the very beginning. You might get pretty scary. 
But also them dealing 20 damage right off the bat is definitely scary. Second wind. The miasma. You know we do it. You getting this... You're attacking him in the back. Attack him in the front, which likely is not great. And I wish I could guard you or something, but I cannot. You can break your armor with the shrapnel here. Retaliate? How come that didn't deal any retaliate damage? Attackers using ranged weapons are not affected, but... Um... You just go ahead and do that. You're gonna take some big beats. It's not really what we want to see, but, uh... We'll live. It is an elite combat. We got our first time with the swordsman. You are going to start bleeding a little, bleeding them like crazy. You do heal four per turn. Quick hands we wanted. Um, War cry we wanted. Who are you actually attacking? You're attacking him. You're attacking everyone. definitely take that. Actually, we can kill you. The four bleed, plus the one poison, plus the hamstring, means you're dead. Five bleed, plus the, the yeah. But he doesn't, you know, he's dead. He's a scary guy. He's a scary guy to start off with. You gotta be really careful with that. Because they can just, he can start getting that bolster, he can start getting that restoration, like we now have. Well, we have seven restoration? We're just healed seven per turn? It's pretty great. Nine per turn? Nine at the end of the turn we heal for. And now we're just applying poison to everyone. Um, we will start off, restore 12 vitality. Remove the bleed. The bleed doesn't matter so much, but the restoring the vitality does. Um, where'd do that? Focus fire? Honestly, I think it's better to just kill one of you guys as quickly as possible. So, even if this isn't the best necessarily, like, not exactly the best move there. Overwhelm. Discard the tenacity. Possibly exquisite sword can kill you. And it will. And what's really nice is that allows us to taunt you now into the front and you cannot shoot anymore. So you're going to take a lot less damage. Well, I don't actually know who you were attacking. Maybe I should have pulled you in the front. This guy's taking the beats. And it's not really what we want to see. I do love the music to this game. It gets better the more wine you have, if you're interested. Okay, double tap is great. I call it keep on double tap, it's double team. You view armor, armor for everyone. You're still the guy I want to kill. I think I can nest one. Let's do second wind. You can discount the great sword. Put more bleed on ya. Put more bleed on ya. Ham 
hamstring you. You're attacking him. You're attacking all of them. Honestly, I know he's not going to get his trigger anymore, but it's going to prevent him from taking any damage from uh, from this guy. Which I do really like. Otherwise, you would have taken four hit points, which we really, really don't want. Survivalist gear is awesome, by the way. It's really doing awesome things. This will kill you. You're dead now. Um, a double team is an obvious choice. Sadist's cunning on you to draw me a bunch of cards, please. Hamstring you. You're taking 18 damage right now. Attrition is going to deal a lot more, especially if I follow it up with this. Or start off with that. Attrition might just damn near kill you. It's just going to straight up murder you. Fair enough. We did not need to do the uh, the other thing, the hamstring on you. You're just attacking me. Get the one bleed on you. And, I mean, whatever. We'll just battering ram you for the damage. It's working out great. This was an elite that we weren't uh, aware of going into necessarily, and we're coming out here. I mean, yeah, okay, this guy took more damage than we would like. But still, he's doing great. Can we deal additional damage to anybody? No. Invigorating flow would be okay. Hello, Mr. Kiwi. Hi, you're in uh, you're in New Zealand. It is morning for you, huh? You're dead before you go. There's really nothing we can do to get this damage over 13. So with that in mind, we're just gonna start bleeding people out. That's what it is. Figurating blow is really good. Eight damage, and actually you're dead now. The armor on, put the armor on. Just crushing it. Just absolutely crushing it. Arsenal, yeah, we should start off well. Yeah, it doesn't matter. Arsenal to start. Quick hands. Additional draw, please. The miasma, put more poison on him. Yeah, whatever. You think 18 damage to my man down there? Doesn't matter. Vanguard, hamstring, heavy blow, and guard. I mean, look at the armor values that we're gonna leave. Like, it's just insane. Now there, there are opponents towards the end that will use your high armor against you. Something we gotta be a little bit aware of. Wow, um, okay. First of all, heal him up. Pop forward, shoot you. Shoot it, pop back. Vanguard. Six times three. Can I get more data? No. Maybe we didn't need the Vanguard. It would have been nice to get the shrapnel in there. It's six and he's got overwhelmed. The shrapnel will break it. And therefore we will deal a lot more damage. Mm -hmm. And he doesn't even get to act this turn. Beautiful. Overwhelmed stacks for extra damage. Exquisite sword comes in. Eight, eight, and nine. Not just eight. 
doesn't matter. He doesn't get to go. And in fact, he would just be dead to poison anyways. Survivalist gear is now just the, the, the bonkers. Can I get a heal on with anyone? No, we can just end the turn. And the turn and it happens. Dies to poison, dies to bleeding. And we what? We were chasing after riches, weren't we? Equipment. Superior medium armor. Nope. Scoundrel's cloak. Nope. Pass. Strategy. Every time you move, gain five. Holy shit. This is so good. On our archer. He moves twice. Yeah. That's just insane. So good on the archer. Guards love littering the street. And we gain 600. Lawrence. We are rich as fuck right now. Jump into another combat. It's gonna be easy, guys. It's gonna be easy. We're am, am I too good at this game? Did I break it already? Maybe it's not broken. Still. Interesting choice. You guys are all on the front, so you don't deal a lot of damage. You guys are all on the back. You will charge. The hamstring's on you. Nice double tap will give you something right off in the beginning. Toe to toe. Who's attacking whom? Just one is attacking you and two is attacking you. Look a little crap out of damage because you've got uh, this charge going on right now, don't you? Take the toe to toe. Oh shit, you don't have enough for rush. Ah, that sucks. All right, more bleeds then. If he had enough for rush, I would have been able to wreck him, but I probably should have done the toe-to-toe -to -toe on you and then actually attacked and you would have had a lot more armor. It's okay. You'll get more next turn. You just have a godly amount of armor. Plus whenever you move, right? Yes. Um, strategy. Every time you move, you gain five charge. Did the beaver eat all their shields? He did! That's why they've got no armor. These guys in the back are soft. Actually, they deal 12. They're, they're actually they're actually swinging hard as fuck on my man over here. Holy crap. They're swinging hard as fuck on him. Which is going to be fine. We're going we're gonna to start off with the focus fire here. Exquisite sword, because this is going to stack up that overwhelm, so we just deal 25% additional damage. As well as giving him mad armor. Jesus Christ. Um, and then invigorate... Well, he's dead. He's actually just dead. Never mind the invigorating blow idea. Um, you can have an invigorating blow heal, but it doesn't matter. What if, you, know, you got it. You can heal, but you're already at full health. If you have any questions about what's going on in the game, I'm happy to explain it. I'm not going to constantly say what everything does because there's a lot of uh, status effects stacking up on people and all of this and whatnot. Shit, you guys move us around and then you just give them more. Uh, miasma. Miasma. Remember you draw an additional card if I poison to random damage. Poison deals one damage for each stack and stacks up on it. It is... God tier. We'll draw something with you. Um, I don't really need the toe to toe. Who's attacking who? You're cleaving. You're splintering. You're not going to break his defense. And you're cleaving. Don't really care about any of this. You know? So in this situation, let's just start making people bleed. You can just. Gain that. I guess. Gain more armor. Doesn't matter. Nothing is going to break through our defense just yet. You guys are going to poison yourself even. Because whenever he gets hit, he just cast, he just puts poison on whoever hits him. And then, their next turn is going to slowly start ticking up. The beavers... Uh, 
the beavers, they do have fury, which means their damage increases as the game continues. Something to be aware of. Well, obviously, you just gain some armor. Give some armor to your boy here. Second wind. You guys are just dealing some damage. Honestly, start smacking away at these guys. Pick the one in the middle and really make uh, something out of them. Tristan will do nothing except just deal damage and then... You've got it. Oh, you're in the front now. True. And then you can deal 15 damage. Pop. Pop. You're just straight up dead. That's one way to reduce things. End the turn. You heal. Doesn't matter. We're stacked right now. There's one thing that I'm still afraid of. <laughs> There's one thing I'm still possibly afraid of. And we're not there yet. From the last floor. The last floor will get harder. I'm going to give you the war cry. Actually, first. First we will strike you down. We'll bleed to you. I want to give you the battering ram. Eh, just deal the damage to him, actually. And he's going to die to poison. Guard, war cry. Maybe you can start healing yourself if you get the overwhelm or whatever it's called. Top you up. Poison comes in. You're going to hit for a small amount of damage. See that poison ticks up? It's so beautiful. Deal a small amount of damage to... Actually, you're going to break through. I forgot that you deal additional damage. Yeah, those Fury Stacks cause you to deal extra. Shortbow, finally. Um, on him. 14 damage. Now, why the hell... Oh, because you, uh, you had stacks. Stack some of your strategy that lets you pop around and move and all that junk. You can heal him, and he's actually at full health already. Um, I'm going to give you more momentum. Discard the taunt. It's not useful. You gain more armor, because you are getting attacked. This guy dies at the beginning of his turn. Bleeding and poison. He's gun. This guy just hits for 10. Takes poison on himself. Not a problem. Quick hands for you. Draw me an additional card. Poison because of the miasma. You can draw three additional cards. That makes Arsenal hit very, very hard. And you're dead. Could shrapnel, um, nope, you should shrapnel because you deal 12 additional damage per attack. Man, make her OP, dude. We are actually fucking tearing it up right now. They don't even know. They actually don't know. I'm gonna have to put more bleed on you, sure. Additional damage. Heavy blow means you're dead. You're both gonna watch. Man, the maker OP. The dream is real. The dream is real. OP as fuck. The only thing we gotta worry about is getting one shot, which can definitely happen. Dying early. Short bow, moving to the front. Take our pot shot at you. What? Hit and run. More bleed. Back to the back rank. Hamstring you for more bleed. You can do a heavy blow. 20 damage. I don't even need to fuck with it. I don't need to fuck with it. They just die. Just let them roll out. Just let them roll out. Money. Card. 
Another focus fire I would like. Apply focus fire whenever the opponent is attacked. Apply overwhelm. It's every time you attack them, the next attack deals 25% more damage. On and 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 on. And it doesn't make your deck too fat because you cast it once and it's out of there. Stroke of genius. We can modify talents. Cutthroat I like, Toxic I like. Wrathful is okay, Strategist is bad. Bastion is pretty good, Inspiration is bad. But who, I gotta remember names. Denver I'm having with Cartwright and Burroughs, I will change you guys. Hopefully it's not fucking Denver. I swear to God, is it Denver? I can choose. Oh, it's a talent car! Oh, I'm, I'm totally thinking of like the wrong thing here. I can reroll a talent card. I'm gonna get rid of one of these tenacities. Tenacities are garbage. Battle tempo. If character is in front rank, deal one times five damage. In bank rank, deal five. Depends on. I mean, I'll take it. You know it's the meme, right? <laughs> okay, it didn't do exactly what I thought it did. Blackfoot contact, a chance to heal. We're at full health. Why even? Why even mess with it? And now we're at a tavern, and we can buy more characters here. We can buy a level six motherfucker with inspiration, with steadfast. Another turn, character gains eight armor. Foul wound for one turn. Whenever the target takes damage, they gain poison. Double the character's thing. Toxic cascade. <sighs> with superior light armor. Come on. Come on. Um, this kind of just neuter my other guy though. You're an assassin. Whenever you draw a concealed blade, transform it into poisoned blade. Where do you even get Concealed Blade? I think that's the only one we're going to get. Exquisite Sword in the back. You guys are going to stop my other dude from getting any armor whatsoever. The other choice is you, the Assassin. I do like weasels too, but uh, he just doesn't fit because we have the guy who likes being alone. If he's not alone, he's going to have no armor. If he's not moving, which he can no longer move, he's going to gain no armor. I think that's it. I feel weird about it. Is that a ferret? I think it's a weasel. Enter the gatehouse. New boss. Who is it? It's blister. Blister, blister, blister. Mine aguta, mine aguta. Kind of, no, we'll get a drink after. <laughs> and actually, now the short bow doesn't quite do what we want it to do because it doesn't allow him to move around as much. We definitely need more ways to draw cards. Okay, so obviously double tap is glorious. Double tap is freaking glorious. Another war cry. Um, we need armor? You guys are gonna, I didn't even look at what you're doing. You're just bulking up. You're attacking three times three on the guy on the bottom and me on the top. That's fine. I don't think it's hot. Okay, it might be. We'll see. I feel like we're going to fuck them up. I feel like we're just going to straight up murder these guys. I'm not going to lie. I feel like these guys are just going to get murdered. I mean, right off the bat, we have 19 charge. If I get an exquisite sword on this dude, he's 
gonna deal like 60 damage, 70, 75. It's perfectly fine, perfectly reasonable. Do you have the vigor? You just start with it. So we can put a focus fire. I think we're gonna try and kill the bears. Yeah, well, they all have this, don't they? I think we're going to try and kill the bears first. That Vanguard's charge is going to fuck with me, though. The characters in the back rank move swap opponent in lane, and this character move swaps with position in front of them. <laughs> I'm not super happy about that. But I will give you the toe to toe. have a way to deal much damage here um focus fire on the boss is an is a given to me though frankly actually killing these guys is more important because they're gonna go twice shrapnel is just shy of being able to do all this extra damage we'll go with invigorating blow and now it's just five damage But your attrition is going to do some work here. 15. More than 15. 25. 30. You're dead. Jesus Christ. I didn't actually expect to kill him. Still, they're going to mess me up. This turn is going to suck. Toxic goes on you. You move me to the back. Three hits, but we take it like a champ. And then you swap me as well. But it's okay. It's okay. He's already got 76 armor. It's okay. Pop off that second wind. You can hamstring times two. Hamstring times two. On the bear. Um, quick hands. Arsenal. And you gots to use it, yeah? Now we target you in the front. No. Target you in the front. Yeah, I think we're gonna use the Sadist Cunning. We need the draw right now. Miasma is beautiful. a lot of bonus. I'm going to move you to the front. He can move himself to the back at some point later. You're attacking everyone. You're attacking him. Oof. And you're attacking everyone. It's okay. They're going to get poison. It's fine. Everything is fine. You'll see. lost a nice piece of wood. Great. <laughs> That's going to cost us a lot of money one day when we move out of here. A uh, great sword pop off in the front. Or, yeah. Great sword pop off in the front. I should have done the foul wounds first. to focus on you um can you toe to toe into a strike juggernaut does crazy things when you receive damage equal to five or less that damage is ignored you're also just gonna get beefier and beefier aren't you You. You 
can now retreat. Um, I guess. Smack you once. Smack you again. Not enough to die. He's one short. You're unable to do that. Uh, you just guard. Does that include the poison damage below five? I don't know, actually. We're gonna have to find that out. Charge, yep, get your poison on ya. Hit him in the back, that's fine. Survivalist gear, kicking in. Drawing extra cards, which I love. Um, we are gonna do a strategy with you. Club. Deal damage, apply bonus. Um, you can really pop off with this rush right now. One to three, and then it's gonna add 19 to each of those attacks. You can probably just basically kill this guy. He's one short. Battering ram you. So you'll die. Actually, you moved him to the... I didn't expect that. The cripple. Every time they move, he takes damage. I didn't know battering ram would go through people. You, unfortunately, are just one shy as well. So we'll kill you. We'll pop off the heavy shield just because we can. Pop off the round shield on yourself. Second win to draw an additional card. It is a focus fire. We didn't do the focus fire on the boss. This one's definitely going on the boss. I had already done focus fire on the boss. Front rank, you can deal a lot of extra damage. Just stack up that poison there for me, my friend. Overwhelm is not really going to help us. Probably would have been better to do it on you. Maybe. It's fine. Again, just murdering these guys. I mean, they haven't broken through our, they broke through our shields once on you. But it doesn't matter. So many, so many things just like popping off on top of them. You'd love to see it. It's nice. It's good stuff. It's good, good stuff. Um, invigoration. He does have 2x overwhelm. So, even though I normally wouldn't do this, we're going to hit you to boost that overwhelm up even more. And that way we can get invigorate, which will give you stamina back and let you start healing a little bit. Right? Give you that restoration trigger. Double your armor. That seems excessive. <laughs> um, I think we're going to just tear away at you. Pop, pop, pop. You can do the vanguard. Get even more bleed. You're actually dead. Solid footing. Solid footing. Sure, why the hell not? Double his armor. And, you know, the fight is won. At this point, there's nothing that they can do against us. You gained eight armor. Good for you, little buddy. Good for you. Operation drawing us additional cards, more poison. Toxic Cascade. Whenever a target opponent gains a status effect, they gain two poison. Yeah. Yeah, we like that. like that. Um, you can do a battering ram. Attacks the cascade. Even when they gain poison, I think it also cascades. I should have hamstrung him first. Damn. He would have taken even more damage. But I had forgotten. I mean, at this point... Oh, it didn't deal any damage. Oh, we did more bleeding. Cog Toxic Cascade. More armor, sure. 
I'm a little sad that I didn't hamstring him before I moved him, but this will kind of be okay. You die. You deal 12 damage. Four vulnerability doesn't really mean anything to me because you guys are never going to penetrate the armor that we've got going on here. Just never going to happen. Double team. Momentum? No. I'll, I'll momentum and, and get rid of the galvanize. I don't really care to double it up. Wish you were in the front rank. Heavy shield, I guess. Battle tempo will not really assist us here. I mean, you can just start stacking more bleeds on this guy. It's actually bleeds and poisons that you stack. You don't deal any damage to him. <laughs> you don't deal any damage to him. But that's a lot of bleed and a lot of poison. He shrugs off the the damage itself through Juggernaut. But frankly, it doesn't matter. Plus, it's just stacking up this because we've got... Yeah. So this time, right, the build that I've gone for is kind of more multi-attack, right? We have all these charge synergies with when you hit people, you deal more damage. You put on poison, you... whatever. And this is definitely different than we had last time. Which is nice. There's always the risk with these kind of games that every time you play, it's like you kind of just end up doing the same thing. We're going to Warcry you. And swap you to the front. Nice. Got 15 stacked up there. Smack you down. More bleed. And more poison. He's actually dead. He's actually already dead. So I don't got to worry about anything. Yeah, go ahead. Attack attack my man over here. You're just going to put poison on yourself. So many numbers. 63 fucking poison he's got. 63 poison is, is insane. I think that's possibly the highest that I've ever gotten. But that's Toxic Cascade right there. Toxic Cascade is ridiculous. Short bow. Shoot at you. Hit and run. Put some poison on. I should have done foul wounds first. I had forgotten. Uh, can I get bleed on you? I can. Every time I draw extra cards, random poison to everybody. Yeah. It just gets it just gets completely ridiculous at some point. With the foul wound, just stacking up more and more poison. I don't even need to use the round shield. Boss dies. Yep. Easy. Dies so easily. And we should be able to one-shot this guy. We only need to deal something like 11 damage to kill him. Oh, that's what I wanted. Can I... Yes, I can. Just for the lulls, I'm going to move you here. Which makes double team do double. Five charge instead. And now we've got 21 bonus. And I'm going to do that 20, 27 times three. Obviously not necessary, but you know what? Uh, superior medium armor. You're wearing just... Sir, no, not you. You just have superior light armor. I'm fine with that. I'm fine with that. Any interesting cards here? Another double team? None of this... Uh, yeah, double team is good, but... We already have two. So I think we're just going to skip it. Burrows, you are max level? No. No, you're not. That's impossible. Whenever this character gains armor, gain plus five. Holy crap. Um, what is your... Yeah, Bastion. <laughs> it just, it's too much. We don't need the armor. At the start of this turn, they gain eight armor. 
Whenever this character plays a card to apply one poison to a random opponent, we well, I'd rather have the aggressive option. And I guess we just take the will. It doesn't really matter. Wealth, excellence, or unity. We don't need the money. Cartwright and Denver. You guys are the lowest levels that I have. So why don't I level one of you up? Let's level you up, man. My, my little my little buddy over here. What you got for me? On turn nine, double the stacks of all poisons on everyone. Plagued is also really good. It's the one we just took. Start of their turn. If the character has any will, they draw an additional card. I'm just going to take the double. I'm taking the double, baby. And you can have the additional stamina. And we're in the last room. The last tier. If you think of Slay the Spire, you know, you go from the first area fight the boss to the next one fight the boss to the third one fight the boss it's actually exactly the same here and your boy your boy needs another drink so i'm gonna be right right back we'll be back super super quick i'm gonna be right back i need i need some more wine it's too hot for this shit Like a crazy person. Oh, there we go. There we go. And we back. In before the boss is immune to poison. Uh, <laughs> let's hope not. I think even if he is, we would still actually be okay. What I'm looking for now, I think I want, I need different armor for you because he just gets stuff when he moves. He doesn't move that often. Also, he is not able to move with the bow so frequently. That's the bow is still pretty good. Unable to move plus one stamina. We definitely don't need that at all. My name is... Yeah, that, that did happen. Okay, these guys are the, are the poison stackers. There's three of them as normal normal people now. Something to bear in mind. Also nice, because we're just going to apply random poison to people when you do things. Um, you start with nothing. You use your heavy shield. Battle tempo. Yep. Put bleed on him, please. The poison can rack up incredibly quickly here. But it's nice because they don't actually do anything on their first turn. Also, when they move, I think... Every time they move, they gain 15 armor. So they are going to gain a bunch of armor when they move around. They are basically Assassin Skaven. And now whenever they hit anybody, they apply a stack of poison. And if they all attack, like, the same person, it can be pretty devastating. I wish I had taunt right now, I'll tell you that. We don't, so, okay. Pop, pop, and pop. You're attacking him, and you're attacking him. That's fine. The toe-to-toe, -to -toe, I think... You probably would want it the most. You gain armor every time you attack somebody in front of you. I think it's probably just worthwhile to just try and knock you down as quickly as possible. 
I should have used you for all of these attacks. Or somebody... See, that's the thing. Now we need to remember, use the people who have effects when they attack. Because it makes a difference. Right? We could have had additional stacks of poison or bleed on these guys. Now the poison starts coming. The first time I fought these guys, they fucking annihilated me. Because I did not know what to expect. And all of a sudden I had like 10, 15 poison on everybody in my party. Oh, unfortunately you're, you're through my uh, armor already. Take a little bit more damage. Poison. Yeah, yes, yes, yes. They do like to move around a lot. Right, you're gonna switch. So hamstring is really good on them. I will hamstring you. Who are you attacking? The guy on the bottom. That's fine. Um, why don't you rush this guy down? How did that kill you? <laughs> I actually have no idea what just happened. Um, frankly, so he's got Retali. Oh, but you're ranged. This is going to do a lot of damage to you. Pop, 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 pop. You got poisons on you too, like crazy. We might be able to kill you before you get to go again. And you're going to put even more poison on this guy. Which means he is going to take... 9 damage at the start of this next turn. Does make me sad. Ooh, what? You have... Bastion? How did you... How did you gain 8 armor there? You got Steadfast. True, 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 true. Cool, 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 cool. Pop that thing off. Unfortunately, I'm not going to be able to kill you, I think, no matter what. Um, I'm going to withdraw you. Can I keep you in the same place? I, I can. And now I can galvanize, so at least you gain a little bit of armor back. And then we will probably war cry. Man, we'll war cry with you. How about that? And uh shit. How did That's not actually what I meant to happen, but okie dokie. And then you can just vanguard this guy. He's he's gonna die! He's one away from dying! Unless it stacks up before. Does it stack up before? It does. It does. It was all good. Steadfast ticks up. The poisons now are completely nullified by everything. For real, man. That that could have been could have been dangerous. Could have been dangerous, but we survived. We have prevailed. And this is what I was looking for before. It's actually not what I was looking for before. You can hamstring him. Um more momentum? No, let's 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 use our, our cards first. Silly silly me. Some armor for you. Armor for you. And we'll just pop off. Well how did that actually kill him? I'm not entirely sure. <laughs> I don't think we need any of this stuff. Sharp and seal is nice, but at this point, unless something is, like, really good, we should probably skip it. Chance to improve is always nice. Provisions. What you got for me, buddy? What you got for me? Pincer, toe-to-toe, -to -toe, or another focus fire? I'll take the focus fire. Hit points are persistent. Armor is checked... Every turn, or every uh, every fight, it changes. Um, I can modify my deck and get rid of somebody? Something? I don't really want to do that. 
probably want to do that, but what? Do I have another strike in here? I do have a strike. Um, uh, skill cards? Talent card? Discard two skill cards. Strike is one. Death card is okay. Doesn't have the synergy, it's just decent damage. I'll, di I'll ditch a guard. Guards are pretty, pretty lackluster. Chance to heal, discard a random combat card, or hide. Um, I guess we'll just we'll heal. It's a chance to heal. It's your last bottle. I didn't read that at all. Um, you're okay. You can heal. Drink up, buddy. Hey. Sure. Large crowd can't go. It's just combat. You know we want the experience. We can get levels up for everybody before we go and fight the boss. That'll probably make things easier. No one's ever that excited to draw a defense card when they just did. When they just a dead enemy. Yeah. I mean, there's good defense cards, but also so much of our defense is now passive. 20 damage to the lane, to both of them. 20 damage to the lane, 20, holy shit. Um, okay. We'll start off with you. So we can use the invigoration thing. So we can at least heal back some of that damage that we're almost certainly gonna take very soon. <laughs> and then use a solid footing. You can use a heavy blow on him. And you can use a pacifier. Or uh, the momentum thing. Okay. Big damage coming our way. We're in the second floor, folks. Or the, the third floor. We're in the third floor. Oh my god. How come you all attacked him? That's not what I thought was going to happen. That's not at all what I was expecting. 12 damage upon. What the fuck? Fortunately, we have no attacks here either. Whenever an opponent moves, you gain two charge. I mean, all I can do is give you a tiny amount, and then you're gonna die. <laughs> Basically, you're gonna die. Have to use the attrition. A little bit of poison. You can use the strategy. To, I mean, he's damn near dead. I'll give you the toe-to-toe. -to -toe. I don't know why they all attacked him. I swore that uh, I, that they were going to attack this guy. I would have done my turn totally different. Had I understood. Ow, ow, and ow. Wolf Boy is like our highest level dude right now. <laughs> the thing is we don't want to lose him now. Oh my god, he's so dead. He's going to die to the bleed. He's gonna die to the bleed. Nobody's got armor on the front. Guillotine. I need... The heavy shield ain't gonna help you. To try and kill you guys. But I got nothing that can do it. Yeah, you're swinging in hard on me. Solid footing. 
Put a guard up. He's dead unless we can somehow heal him next turn. Otherwise, he's going to have just enough. There is a card in here that could save us. There's, there's a single card, and then there's a combination card that would work. I really don't want to lose Wolf Boy. Ow. Ow. And ow. <sighs> Please? Alas. Alas not. Alas he is dead. All because I totally misunderstood what was going on there, honestly. How did I miss it so bad? He's at least dead. You're gonna swap me to a random position and we're gonna take 20 damage for it. Bad, bad, not good. <laughs> super, super bad. Okay, on to the next one, I guess. I mean, battle tempo it up. Nothing we can do about Wolf Boy. It's a lot of poison. Oh, I'm sorry, a lot of bleeding. Bleeding, bleeding, bleeding. Shrapnel is not enough. <gasps> Tenacity coming through! Removes all stacks, everything gains three armor for each stack cleared. Oh my god, we got 63 armor. <laughs> Whoa, that's good. That's pretty good. These freaking Ender Halberdiers just... Oh, I'm so sad about you, buddy. We didn't draw the one card or the three cards that could have saved you. And you died to the one bleed. The one bleed. Doesn't matter. He's dead. He's dead. Steadfast doesn't do anything when you're dead. Goodbye, wolf boy. Goodbye. Uh, we'll go toe to toe with you, sure. Galvanize is no longer useful for us. Foul Wounds is not available to us. Just smack on ya. Should have done the Toxic Cascade already. We don't have Toxic Cascade anymore. Man. Actually at full health. I should have done the fo- well, I'll do the Focus Fire on you. Stack more poison. All of these cards are the dead are the dead guys' cards, so <laughs> we can't we can't do anything about that. Um, you are basically dead next turn. No, you're not. You gain the armor. There's the card that we wanted. The strange mist. But alas, we had nothing. There's another focus fire as well. Club is useless to us. I'll definitely use the miasma. Wait, what does it do whenever we draw additional cards? More bleed. Now you're dead. And now I can actually battering ram you so you don't get to attack. I swore that when I moused over this, it said you were attacking these guys. Why did it change? And I swear that this happened to me before. Maybe it's a bug, but I actually don't know. I might have to go rewatch it or something. It's a bunch of crap is what it is. <laughs> Son of a bitch. Double team. Draw me more cards, please. Taunt him forward. Thank you. Double team. This is going to be a lot of damage when we finally hit him. Great sword. 
stack up that overwhelm. Oh yeah, you're dead. 63 on one? <laughs> Shipwright died. That's pretty sad. I really like Invigorating Blow. I'm going to take another one. It's really, it's really bad. Really sad that he died. Quick thinking. Level up. Yeah, for sure. Cartwright, you are the lowest level. Welcome to the Champions League. What you got for me? Double all stacks. Whenever an ally dies, gain rage. <laughs> or draw an additional card. Where do you have the double? Would that... I could do crazy things. Honestly, I think just having an additional card is probably the best thing for us. You have way plenty, plenty of this stuff. Right? I'll take the will. Ah, poor, war poor, poor wolf boy. Um, I'll just remove the back alley. Remove the next two cards from here. No more hesitation. But it's a task force. So the gold cloaks have been dispatched. The gold cloaks are here, folks. My Nakuta. My uh, Italian colleague used to say that all the time. Oh, fuck. <laughs> At least those halberdier motherfuckers aren't here. Gain, deal damage, fortress, okay. Overwatch. Whenever a character draws a card, they suffer one damage and bleed for every fucking what? That's awful. That's pretty awful. All gots to go. toe-to-toe -to -toe for now. Pop that on you. Just give him a little bit of additional armor. Do we use the withdraw? You're attacking him. You're attacking me. It doesn't matter. We have so many additional ways to draw cards. In fact, you just you just draw us a card every turn. So you're just gonna stack that bleed up. Fortunately, you do heal yourself with that restoration. The question is, will we? Uh, are we just gonna die? <laughs> Strange mist drawing now is not great. Whenever a character draws a card, they suffer one damage and one bleed for every stack. Times three? I actually can't use this. You guys attacking. You're all attacking me as well. Um, let's second wind it up. Um, I will give you, no, we're gonna be, we'll use that later. War cry for you. Uh, okay, I guess we're just solid footing you. Momentum you, get rid of that since we can't use it. And yeah, we can take the heals now. It's probably worth it. As well as putting that poison out there. Something that we're going to really need, probably, considering how fucking terrifying this fight is. The gold cloaks are here. Overwatch. Oh, wait, 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 wait. For every stack... Okay, that actually doesn't do anything unless, unless they have a stack of whatever this X is. 
Son of a bitch. Um, I'm going to focus fire on you next. And it's time to go to town. I was wrong. We totally... We totally should have done something there. Pop on you. Hit and run. Pop on you. Plagues on everyone. Unfortunately, we're not going to get the shrapnel there. Um, or bleed on you, or... Yeah. Where are the attacks going? 8 damage to him, 18 to him, and okay. So, we can use that. Whatever. Actually, did 30 fucking damage? Is it because of the overwhelm? Must be. Alright. <laughs> we don't have... Yeah, the Overwatch is this, but it needs the stack of whatever that thing is. Is it? It's not Overwhelm. It's not Vulnerable. It's Mark. It's Mark. We're not marked yet. If they marked us, we could be in big trouble. They haven't done it. Okay. I'm totally fucking wrong <laughs> about that. Apparently not. Apparently it just happens. Well, fine, and fuck you guys, because we drew an extra card. Obviously, we should use Focus Fire on you. Why did you take that? I don't know actually why you took all this- why- why did you take all that bleed? It doesn't make any sense. You're not drawing me any extra cards. Did they do a, like a bleed attack that I wasn't paying attention to? Hmm. Well, you can get toe-to-toe -to -toe for sure. You can get strategy. Because it's quite good. More plague. Smack this guy, and he's dead. He's dead. Now the next one. Start putting that bleed on him. Pop, pop, pop. Yeah, you're going to take a big hit here. So I think using the invigoration on you is probably the best. You'll be able to heal back any damage that comes to us very quickly. I think we're going to be fine. I mean... I think we're going to be fine. Is it turn nine? Okay, not bad. Turn nine. Turn nine. Poison doubles. Eight, 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 and six. Not bad. Not bad at all. My asthma. Draw an additional card. We deal the damage. So good. It is. And we're not even like super crazy poison build. Kind of. But not super crazy. I've, I've had it with even more poison where like we actually have cards that apply poison. Shit can get real bonkers real fast. Alright. Double team. into the attrition. And that's where we're going to deal a lot of damage. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Because, look, he's got six. Okay. That's one way to do things. You can use a second wind. You draw another card, you take another bleed. It's true, but you gain... Do I want you to take all that poison damage? No, not really. I think we just end our turn. You guys are just gaining armor. It's fine because the poison kind of counteracts it. 
Because what armor as you guys gain? Yeah, you gain that fury up there, and it is starting to stack up. Bleed more. Hmm. Another Overwatch? Pass. Pushed you into the back. I really don't want that Overwatch to come on. I realize I should have done the Exquisite Sword first. It's okay. Um, we can stack this up with the Overwhelm triggering. Oh, you don't have it. You only have one Overwhelm. Why only one? Well? Where'd you even get the Overwhelm from? Right, you can get more poison out there. And I guess you get the armor, because it doesn't really matter. I mean, it feels very under control, so I'm not that worried about things right now. Yeah, you can bolster it up all you want, buddies. You're gonna die. Where do you just... You just gained... Because you... You just gained poison there, but I don't entirely know why. You didn't play a card. Hmm. Uh, hey, what do you know? I can battering ram you again. I don't think there's a combat log, no. Get out of there, please. Uh, now you're invigorating blow. We'll get you some healing. Nope, afraid it's not enough. And honestly, I think it's time to start working on you. Um, yeah, that's true. We don't deal any damage. <laughs> With that against you, you got Juggernaut. It's fine. We don't take the five damage. Do we really care? No. Not really. Great sword would be nice. And another vanguard or We want to make sure you die, which you're not gonna do inherently next turn. I think we're gonna be actually. Oh, shit. <laughs> you guys are gonna fuck him up? Well, the bolster helps us, and honestly, we're just gonna heal it up. Whatever damage they do, this guy can just heal it up because he's got the survivalist gear, so it's really not a concern at all for us. The vulnerable will suck. That's gonna hurt. Mm. Ow. Actually, really, ow. <laughs> <laughs> we need to kill you immediately. I'll take the second wind. I don't really care about the bleed. I'll go for the heal on you because it's worth it. You're taking not enough to die. And actually, we don't have... I need to do the quick hands. We'll take bleed damage. It's fine. Actually, you can tenacity the bleed away, can't you? Fortunately, it only gave me a goddamn guard. There's nothing I can do about it. I can get you to 16, and then you'll die from the poison. Perfect. Perfect. Ooh. Not actually what I meant to do. Actually, definitely not what I meant to do. <laughs> that, was, that was crap. 
Um, you can do the war cry. Nah, okay. Looks like you're, you're moving to the front. You are casting the plague. I mean, you do heal 12 a turn, 13 a turn, and you die. You don't! Son of a bitch. I think he's got two overwatch. I think that's just a bug that shows this marked thing instead of the other one. Unfortunately, we kind of just need to kill you. Um, it's a lot of bleed. Because of the stupid draw thing. Which means I unfortunately need to just kill you now. Oh no, you'll... Well... No, because we're not gonna we're not gonna actually draw anything new. You're now the target, though, my friend. You are now the target. Um, I've got an exquisite sword, so double tap is not super useful in this current situation. I'll go for the attrition. It's going to be a lot of damage. Holy crap. 27. Scaling. 32. Oh my god, you're dead. That's actually a miracle. Okay. Okay then. <laughs> um, Heavy blow. Yeah, let's start working on the next guy, I guess. I mean... I didn't expect such murder right there. You can just start bleeding him out. Who are you attacking? The guy in the middle? That's fine. Exquisite sword. Problem solved indeed. That's also pretty solid. Oh, I should use somebody else. It's okay. Give me more armor. You are dead next turn. No matter what. You're, oh, this this turn. This turn you're dead. <laughs> the music's gone. Yeah, the music's gone. Fortunately, we're going to take extra bleed damage. From that... Because this freaking idiot's still alive. Vanguard. Uh, I mean, the double tap is not super... I keep going... I'm just sticking with double tap. You know what, guys? It's just goddamn double tap, okay? Just deal with it. Shrapnel is not uh, super sexy. Hold off on the sadists thing, so um, you can just die. We don't want to draw too many cards. Finally, we can draw cards in peace. Why? Oh, when we draw additional cards, they take poison, of course. I had totally forgotten about it. Uh, you can shortbow your way out of there. That's really nice. Really nice. Um, I should have done four. You're actually out of things. Okay. Another one? Great sword. Eh, doesn't do anything really. We're gonna gain some defense. That's probably fine. We want to. We want to end the turn on their turn. We want to let them die so that way you are actually topped up on health, and the bleed will take it away at the beginning, and then at the end, we'll heal it all back up. And this is actually. Oh, we can't use it. 
Maybe we get something that, uh, yeah. We just end it. You heal, you die. Pretty good. But the problem is when we start fighting these other guys that, that just murdered us last time. Trauma apply for Mark. Trauma is pretty freaking good, man. When this character dies, stacks of vulnerability are applied to members of their party. It takes down by one per turn. It's kind of just another card, though. Rondell Dagger. Deals 6 times 2 damage, applies 5 bleed. Deals 12 damage to rank, applies 2 bleed. If opponent already has bleed, applies to cripples. Interesting. I've never dual wielded, I don't think we're going to start now. But it's interesting. The music has come back. Oh yeah, we're not taking anything. Move on. Now, I think we will have an opportunity to, like, recruit one more person. Here's another combat. A difficult one. I would love to get another level. Let's go for it. Always the chance we die. Elder Spearmen are not Elder Halberdiers. They do deal 25 fucking damage, though. <sighs> Jesus Christ. Definitely use Stratagos. Use Focus Fire. If you have no neighbors in rank, you don't deal any damage. Can we get there? Probably not. Move to the front. Take a shot. Heavy blow. This will do good damage. We can kill him next turn. That'll make things hell of a lot easier, won't it? Focus fire on you. Now, who needs the armor? If you're wet, you're going to deal damage to a lot of people, but you're kind of the guy. I mean, you can't heal. You're going to take a lot of damage, though, no doubt. <laughs> You're going to take a buttload of damage right now. Totally forgot the stream was on. The pink came on when my World of Warcraft guild was raiding and I forgot to come back. Hey, Garrick. No worries. Still playing World of Warcraft. Never a game I really got into. I was playing EverQuest when it came out. I tried it a little bit. It didn't tickle my fancy. And then uh, by that point, I never really went back. Okay, my asthma we love. Can we kill you? Super important. Yes, we can. Totally, totally can. Do I want you to gain? Mm. <sighs> this will kill you. Yes. But he's going to get to attack first. Damn it. It's actually fine with the exquisite sword here. I think we can actually just start doing this and we're going to gain enough armor to be fine. Plus the round shield. Okay. We accept. MMORPGs aren't for everyone, but I enjoy the community and fantasy of the game. Probably has one of the most interesting worlds to explore. No doubt, no doubt. I loved, I loved MMOs. I played EverQuest. Um from launch until Lucklin, which was like, probably, I mean, you just can't go back. That's what it is. The first MMO you play is always the one that's just going to stick with you forever. I did play Lord of the Rings online for a certain amount of time, and I played it with my best friend, and uh, this is why I liked it so much, probably. Because they're all, yeah, coordinated strike. You're all attacking the same guy. Sons of bitches. Put that here. So you're gonna get the 25 off. We're gonna we're gonna shrug it off. But you die. 
Oh, you die before they attack. I forgot. Oh. Zero damage. It doesn't update it, but they got nobody next to you. It does zero damage. An opponent's lane is not is not great. I also played a little bit of Guild Wars recently. It was fun. It's fun. Fun game. We'll heal you guys up. Or bleed on everybody. Or poison, rather. Um, that's a lot of cards to draw. And that's a lot of a lot of poison coming out there. Hmm. Hmm. Teeing off on you. I know you you hit me back for three. It's fine. Two stacks of overwhelm. I want. I want you to heal. Twelve is not enough. The momentum would have done it had I thought about it. You're attacking him. You're attacking him. You're attacking him with the bleeds. Might be able to just kill you. Indeed. That that's nice. That's a really that's really good. Um, no. Guard. Guard. Momentum. We can drop that off. Give us to us an interesting comment system, but I think it lacks the deck lacks the depth to keep my attention. Yeah, the one thing, the reason I. The reason I stopped playing it and the thing that I didn't like about it is like the end game, it's all about like collecting ingredients and then crafting. And like, honestly, I had no fucking clue what I was supposed to do to get like the ultimate weapons and to get like the ultimate armor. It was just like, I understand, like I want things to be difficult, but it was so obfuscated that I was just like, this is dumb. And I stopped playing. Great sword. Do you have another focus fire, huh? Okay, first of all, second wind. How about another... S How about you just hamstring, actually? Hamstring on you. Another second wind. Lack of equipment diversity. 90% of armor reads the models from other armor. Can be max level and have a weapon that is the same model as level 1 rusty dagger. Yeah, maybe, but there's a lot of fucking crazy awesome weapons in that game, too. Um... Actually, there's like an ungodly amount of, of skins that you can get for your weapons and for your armor. So I'm not actually sure what you what you mean there, because when I played it was just really it was it was actually absurd. Lots of skins are microtransactions, but you're also able to just get them on your own. Let's pop you guys around. Alright, you get that cripple damage in there too. Attacking him, and you're just gaining armor. I can do the focus fire on. What? You? On you. Ooh, you guys are the ones that I actually want to kill. So. You gain the carapace, I'm not worried about it. Um, actually, Warcry into battle tempo is pretty ridiculous. And this is going to deal massive damage to you. With this... Now the overwhelm doesn't stack. It's pretty good damage, though. He's still one short. I fucking hate when that happens. It happens so often <laughs> that they're just... Just one shy of death. It's fine. The carapace thing here. Every time you take damage from a character, gain five. Yeah, I don't like it. <laughs> um, double team always. More armor and uh, the ability to punk people out. Sure. Toe to toe. Hook hands, finally. Attrition, you can actually just murder this guy. It's way overkill. It's way overkill. It's fine. Um, 
You can do rush. Him. Which is fine by me. Yeah, we'll take some damage back from the carapace. But... It's nice, actually. Because we stacked up that overwhelm, now Invigorating Blow is going to deal enough damage that you're going to start healing. Whatever. Put a bleed on this guy. Fully healed up. You're going to start to fully heal up. You love to see it. It's beautiful. You're dead. We're going to probably be able to kill you. This way we draw all of these, yep, yeah, preparation into miasma, into miasma. I could even give you more healing. <laughs> I can. Quick hands? Draw some more cards, please. You guys are. You're one shy. Of course you are. Of course you are. Um, I'll just use the hamstring on you. Now you'll die from the bleed. Next time you shoot Rift Wizard, you're gonna think you're gonna turn off the beta for the new ice spells? Well, I actually played a little bit with the ice spells and I can say no more. Watch YouTube for the future. That's all I got. That's all I'm allowed to say. Should also use that first. I'm swing him. Everybody's dead, so we don't really need. Do I need anyone to heal more? Everyone's got max HP. You're gonna die from 19 poison. I love it. Oh yeah, so many triggers need to go off. <laughs> This guy has got 25 retaliate, which is fucking absurd, but it doesn't matter because he just dies. He just dies. Shrapnel. Please, more poison? Double team? Dude, double team is insanely good. Heavy blow. Attrition for the mad damages. Rush for the mad damages. They just get wrecked, man. An S talk. These are new. Deal four times three damage. Get oh, gain five retaliate. Is it? Well, interesting. You don't say. I could dig that over the exquisite sword. Feels less damage. Same number of attacks, no armor. Gain five, retaliate. Remove to the start of the next turn. That can just, it just doesn't scale. It just doesn't scale. I'm not interested. Yes. The question for you. Don't damage all targets. Or, five times two. No, but the weapon damage is nice. Okay, we'll, we'll keep, we'll keep the great sword. We'll continue. I'm not gonna worry about it. Boom. Did I even look at the card? I didn't. Probably wouldn't have taken it, but I didn't look. Sanctuary, we don't need a chance to heal. The money is not that useful to me. I would like to level up before we reach the boss. If you don't scale, you can get out of here. For real, right? I mean, just giving me five and then it disappears on the next turn? What is that crap? All right, halberdiers again, y'all motherfuckers. Killed my wolfman last time. Never forget. 
never forget. Zone of control. You just deal 20 damage to opponent's lane, but you didn't do it last time. You attacked this guy. Are you gonna fucking do it again? Bet you they are. I bet you they are. That shrapnel doesn't really do much here. I should have used you, damn. With the bleed or I should have used either of you. A little bit sloppy. If you attack him, I'm gonna be pissed. Also, somebody asked before. Oh, you attacked the right guy. Somebody asked before if uh, Juggernaut ignores poison, and it does. That hurts, by the way. That does hurt. I'll take this toe to toe for you. There's a lot of damage coming out right now. Obviously, we can go with the round shield. I mean, I should... We need to draw these cards, for sure. The battering ram, the battering ram. Mighty, mighty battering ram. Get the fuck out of here. The cripple does extra damage. You also have a single stack of overwhelm. Apply that yourself, please. Second win to draw. Definitely take the double team. Battle tempo for you. Just give me more bleeds. Show a sheep on the battering ram card. Missed opportunity. In universe puns. My god. Next level. Where is Windrusher, anyways? I feel uh, it's a bit too hot to be lacking that kind of breeze. Um. Pop off with the armor, and for you, I'm just... Give me more damage. Get rid of the solid footing. It's going to be fine. You're going to start to heal up, which we know you can do. It's great. And now we got you guys in two lanes, which is really, really, really going to help us. Poison is starting to stack up. Take a little bit of bleeding. We got more hamstrings. We put it all on the one guy. I mean, toe-to-toe -to -toe is a given. Second wind just to draw me a card, please. And it's a short bow. Into the front. Oh, you guys deal extra damage when I move. It's true. We're going to accept that. We're going to count. We're going to count on just out damaging you. Heavy blow and you're dead. No actions. You're just dead. Next up is you, my friend. Vanguard for the bleed. Attrition for a crap load of damage. Mm-hmm. 50. Poison on you, it's nothing. Okay. It is a chunky bear. It's true. Kind of, uh, I mean, look at this. But the weasel is, I mean, the, the badger is facing him down. We don't give a fuck. I'm sorry, we don't give a fuck. We just don't. Uh, you can heal yourself. Poison. Pop that double team off. You're just gonna shield up. And you're gonna guillotine. Opponent has bleed applied 10 cripple. We don't have bleed. More and more war cry. Unable to kill you this turn, which is a shame. We'll guard it up, and that's it. You're healing up. We probably want the fight to go long, because we could just heal up to max in the fight. This guy's not going to do anything to us once we're once once his, uh, his bodyguards are gone. We got nothing to worry about. Um, we can do a focus fire on you. 
Sure. Quick hands is always wonderful. Great sword. Damage on everyone. I think hitting you and getting the third trigger of Overwhelm allows Invigorating Blow to start healing up my friend over here, and indeed it does. You're gonna swap us to a random position. Not if I do it first! Punk ass bitch. You can deal more damage. You're gonna die to poison next turn. We don't even gotta do anything to you. You're gonna miss? Oh! No, he didn't. Oh, did you actually deal damage to me? Survival scare. We're gonna need to wait. I mean, I'll hamstring you. I mean, <laughs> I mean, I'll hamstring you. <laughs> and actually, yeah, whatever. Pop off the miasma. Short bow it up. Pop. One, you're dead no matter what. Pop. Get back out of there. Hit you there. This is going to allow Invigorating Blow to heal us. And I think we chill. We want him to gain the armor so he doesn't just die. Is he going to just die? Shit. <laughs> we killed him. <laughs> okay. I mean, we almost have full health, so it's fine. Nah. Rearguard's, Rearguard's actually not bad. Six damage and then six to the front rank. Nah, it's not, it's not great. Will we have enough experience to level up? We can level up somebody just right now. Why would I not take the level up? Burrows, burrows, burrows. Actually, Denver. Oh, Denver, congratulations, buddy. You're level eight. Get that sweet card. Let's go to ruins. We don't have it. A second miasma? Can it possibly stack? There's no way. There's no way it stacks. Gain miasma whenever you draw an additional card. There's no way that it stacks. If it stacks, heaven help us all. I go for it. We'll take an extra will. If it stacks, it's fucked up. Exactly. Stroke of genius. Any talents we might want to modify? I would love another quick, these are skills. Talent, talent. Talent. Oh yeah, yeah, talent, talent, talent. Um, okay. Maybe, <laughs> I actually don't, I actually don't know. We roll a talent card. Tenacity? Goodbye, Tenacity. I will take Attrition. Attrition deals mega damage. And I think we'll take the fight again. Sure. Shit, okay. Not an easy fight. These guys are bad fucking news. Double team.
strategy for the movement. Second wind. Draw me that card now, please. Hamstring one of these assholes. We're not going to be able to get any bonus. Eh, we could, we could get the heals right off the bat, which, frankly, it's probably worth it. Because they're both attacking my man here. Probably should have toe to toed him, but that's okay. We'll toe to toe you. And guard you up. Not a bad... I mean, we start with additional healing, which will definitely help. Burrows is going to have some issues. Or rather, you're going to... No, you're going to have issues because you're going to take the bleed damage, but we don't really care about the bleed damage. I mean, we care. We can't use quick hands. Toto Toe is an obvious choice here. You've got the attrition now. Go to town, my friend. We'll take the next five. Get the bleeds on you. That does allow shrapnel to tee off. Breaks the armor and follow it up. Three, four, five. Okay, just four. Strange Mist. Not the greatest time to draw it. Just heal yourself. Unfortunately, they're all just now going to have this Overwatch. Which uh, means we got to be a bit careful about that draw. He's going to take re-bleed every turn, frankly, drawing us in one additional, no, no, but, but. I don't understand it, why did we not take damage now, we did draw, if we have any will we draw one card, but no, Okay. We hit you. Great sword. I mean, focus fire you in the back. Follow it with the great sword. Not enough to kill anybody, but we'll get them next turn. We'll get them next turn. This game is like party based slate aspire. Yeah, kind of. Kind of like that. Um, you can now draw me a bunch of cards. Hamstring. Yes. Attrition will kill you. Indeed it does. Exquisite sword pop off on you with the overwhelm is going to do great things unfortunately you're not going to have enough armor to defend yourself which is okay you can't either well solid footing okay i probably could have done that a little bit different and prevent I, I i like slip it up and not checking uh their attacks as often because i'm just terrified of these guys Poison is stacking, though, which we love to see, because at turn 9, you know that we double it up. Only a tiny amount of damage. Not a big deal. Short bow is nice to see. Apparently, we just don't take the extra damage. Don't really know why. Overwhelm is already just going crazy on this guy back. Should have used an arsenal beforehand. And you're dead. You're attacking him and you're attacking him. Is 
solid footing protects us pretty well there. Actually, you're just gonna die, so it doesn't really matter. Put the bleed on you. Why even take the 10 damage? We can't. Oh, yeah, yeah, we can't because we uh, solid footing it up. It's fine. He's fully healed again. You're my last target. I really, really don't like Overwatch. <laughs> you haven't tell? You can't tell? I'm like, fuck that. Just fuck that. We kill him. We kill them all. Like, why? Why did you... Why did you take the bleed damage? I don't understand. I don't understand. Well, no matter. We'll just be able to heal it back up. Rush, pop, 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 stack the bleed. I should have used this. So plasma. Focus fire here. I guess we go with a heavy blow on you. These guys I can basically ignore. No, I should be killing this guy. Doesn't matter. War cry on you. I'm getting a little bit sloppy because I'm out of wine. That's obviously the problem here. So we're definitely going to need to go and pick up some wine in just a moment. And pops in, pops out. Power by alcohol, baby. The battery ran out. I don't really want you to go. I have four vulnerable. It's not nothing. You guys just don't deal damage anymore. So, we'll swap you guys in around. Now, here's the question. There's two miasma. That's totally two miasma. Just so we're aware. Just so we're aware. Let's double the miasma. So automatically, every turn now, we just apply two poison. Which I can totally dig. Also, I'm, I've decided that taunt is basically useless. <laughs> Usually you want to kill the people in the back first and not really be able to pull them forward. So taunt is useless. Um, I will continue to hamstring you. Can have momentum. Uh, get rid of the taunt. That's fine. You're attacking me. You're attacking me. You're attacking me. I don't think we gotta worry about it. Easy, easy fights. Poison just continues stacking up. Yeah, yeah. You're still alive. And you're gonna gain your Overwatch finally. Um, but at this point, we can just heal through basically everything. You did some damage. You got some overwatch. Good for you, buddy. At this point, it doesn't matter. At this point, we double team. We attrition on you. Actually, hold up. We can really probably stack this like crazy. Six damage times three or five times, whatever. Actually, it does more damage. This is the one we want to do first. We're probably going to kill this guy right now. Watch. The overwhelm. Stack it up. Stack it up. Stack it up. God damn. Damn, it's so good. 
And now we can just kill you. Doesn't matter who you're attacking. Don't need to use the strategy again. We only want the strategy just for the rabbit, I guess. Is it worth having the strategy just for the rabbit? I don't know that it is. Did that actually... All right, let's test. Uh, yeah, it totally worked. I also unfortunately took damage from that because this guy's a freaking asshole. But hey, strange mist, no more. Use this. Great sword. Uh, yeah, you can go for it. That's fine. Great sword. Bleed you, bleed you. You're. I mean, you're dead. You're just dead. Second wind. Causing the bleed again. Just go for the attrition. I mean, with overwhelm. Holy crap. It's just actually fucking crazy. And you're gonna die. You did manage to get that bleed on me after all, which I can't say I'm happy about, but it is what it is. And then this last guy is just probably gonna get murdered. Quick hands will help. Yep, 14. Why don't you withdraw to here? Pop off those quick hands. Heavy blow. Vanguard. I should have used Arsenal first. And rush. Okay, so he's not dead. But next turn he's dead and I don't even have to do anything. Maybe I'll get lucky and draw a heal for everyone and just top off the 5 HP that we're missing total from everyone. Eh, eh, whatever. If not, you know, it's all good. Yeah, that's a lot of poison. That's a lot of poison. We're not going to get what we want here, so it's fine. Oh, we could have probably done that. Nah, no, nah, no, nah, we couldn't have. We couldn't have. Anything we've done would have killed them. It's all good. Lady Florence, gain a card. Artillery rupture. Type formation is okay. We don't have any way to deal vulnerability, so... Not useful. Nah. Move on. Now it's after midnight. This is like some of the latest that we got. Modify your deck. Duplicate a card in your deck. Could there be something so good that we would want to duplicate it? Double team is like fucking. Oh, battering ram. Battering ram is so good. Also, welcome to the chat room. Apparently, we get disconnected momentarily. Crossroads? Another automatic combat? Guys, guys. If I'm gonna keep going, this is quite late for us. This is quite late for us, and with that. I think I need more beer. Or wine rather. So we're gonna we're gonna go, we're gonna go and get some more alcohol. And I'll be right back. It's not the boss level. No, we need to reach, I mean, yes, it's the boss, boss level, technically. We need to count down to 10. Once this counts down, we fight the final boss. I'll be right back. We've got water, we just don't have wine.
super quick. And we're here. And we're ready to go. I guess we just take the harder combat. I mean, they're not easy. I mean, they are easy. They're not hard. I just, I want to do them because if we can level up before we get to the final boss, that'd be really nice. I've never fought them. I fought the final boss last time with four guys. Shit. Oh, this is going to be hard as a motherfucker. You're attacking him, him. Him. Yeah, this is gonna be tough. Focus fire to the middle guy. Second wind. I'm happy to see a double team. Battle tempo. Start stacking those leads on them because it's gonna be a hard fight, guys. It's gonna be a hard fight. Might as well get another lead there, plus the overwhelm. Get all that on there. He's gonna take 20 damage right now. Nothing really we can do about it. And they're gonna have all the overwatches in the damn world going on over there. These, I but unfortunately I actually have to ignore them. And I really just need to take out the halberdiers because the halberdiers are the scary motherfuckers. Look at that. Seriously, they were like, we're attacking the guy on the top. And then they didn't. Why? You got the nice even spread there, which is fine, I guess. <sighs> I don't know why they don't do what they say they're gonna do. I'm gonna focus on you because you're gonna be my next target. And we're gonna rush. So you guys do follow the targets, so Denver's taking another bunch chunk of damage. Just put more bleed on him. Please. This will at least get you some heals coming. Hopefully we can kill you before your next turn. You just withdraw probably to the back. Getting everyone more damage. At least you have a little bit more armor. And you're not going to get hit by this. You are! <laughs> but that's okay. You're going to be fine. Poor Denver indeed. Denver just got fucked up. Just got fucked up. And now you guys are all just gonna tee off on the front row. All coming on my man here. Okay. Heavy blow on you. You're dead. That's nice. Um, we're gonna use momentum and ditch the quick hands because we can't use them because of uh, this Overwatch crap. And then massive attrition damage on you. You're actually, we might just kill this guy. Afraid not. Close, but not quite. You gotta do a second footing. Probably should have used second one first, in case you did the round shield. Like so. Because we could have had an extra 15 armor on my man here. Which means he would have taken no damage.
It is, yeah. But it's good, you know? I mean, otherwise, card draw is just insanely powerful. So it's a, it's a really nice check on that. Anything that makes those kind of interesting decisions, I'm in for. I approve. Dearling to the lane. So they're all attacking this row again. He's gonna be fine ish. Fine ish. One, two, three, and you're almost dead. I mean, at this point, just with the battering ram. No, we need to vanguard you. We'll vanguard with you. Uh, so you can maybe poison somebody else. Indeed you do. Now I think we can start working on these guys. Put out more plague. Move forward. Which is nice. Shrapnel. It's gonna hurt nonetheless. But he does okay, now he's at, I mean he's got max hit points again, so he's gonna be able to he's gonna be able to heal it. He's gonna be able to recover. It's you that you know, you're the real you're the guy who's gonna really suffer here. We also need to get you alone again so you can start generating armor or moving around or something. Bleeding sucks. Preparation? Did I fucking cast preparation like an idiot before? <laughs> yes, I did. Let's think about this. You deal extra damage when you move around. You're just going for 13. It's not too bad. Okay, first things first, my asthma. Second things, definitely for this. Third thing, a secondary my asthma, please. We are gonna move you. It's gonna generate your armor. I know it's gonna give him some of this charge crap. A heal now. So that'll counter attack, counter, uh, counteract the bleed. Doesn't help him though. Actually, can't do anything. The Pacificator, good night. Take care, man. It is quite late. This is probably the latest that we have ever streamed. But hey, the East Coast of the United States is getting home from work. I wonder. I wonder how that will translate. I mean, I don't know how much longer I have in me, honestly. But we shall see. It's not late, 12.30? Not in Montana, it's not fucking late. <laughs> no doubt. You did just get off work. I'm gonna war cry you. Move you up. Yeah, I know you get beefier. Invigorating blow on you. You now have a couple of heals coming in. You need toe-to-toe. -to -toe. Damn, we don't have status cunning. We're gonna hit you up. And then I guess we uh, just hamstring you. Get more bleed. Get you as close as possible to death. 
That first turn was painful. It's still painful. You did not miss a song. Uh, Mrs. Maker is still not present here. Uh, she's off at the village, at the bar, just doing work. So, not much I can do. Um, instead, the song will be on Sunday. She will definitely be here, and on Sunday, we will make it happen. Uh, the battering ram. I one winded. Uh, dude. Battering ram this asshole. Take the 10 damage, and he's dead on his turn. We'll take the toe-to-toe. -to -toe. And you... Heal my guys in the front, please. Attrition. Do any of you have a uh, focus fire? Yes. Well, you're my target. Let's overwhelm you. You're attacking me and you're attacking me. Fortunately, I did not. I should have probably given you solid footing. Yeah, you heal a little bit, but, uh, I mean, I think what we're probably going to do is game it a little bit and just make sure that you get healed all the way back up. You hit the guy in the back. I approve of this. The winded matters not to me. Yeah, you take the less damage from the bleeding. Round shield, please. Give me armor. God. Second wind to you. Jesus Christ. Did not think about that one. Probably should have. Because it fucking hurt. Uh, pop off the vanguard first. You should really be doing this. You can get the poison stacks coming out. You guys are both dead now. No, you're not. You're attacking me in the back. I don't really care about it. And start laying those beats on you now. Definitely taking way more damage than I need to. Like, you do not need uh, six poison stacks. Uh, sorry, six bleeding stacks. I know there's a skill. God, he did live. That's so annoying. There is a skill. I don't know what it's actually called. That turns bleeding into poison. Makes a lot of sense to me nowadays. Just for shit like that. Um, fortunately, momentum is not going to be enough to kill, um, to get you to have the invigorating blow damage to start healing again. It's a bit crap. But it is what it is. Oh, look at that. I can choose where you go. Or I can't. No, it doesn't look like I can. That's gone. Double invigorating blow? Really? <laughs> like you're just fucking with me now. At least I can kill you. And then prep you for next turn, where maybe we can get another invigorating blow and try and heal you up. Because having you going in with uh, this much less HP is not great. You did zero damage? Why are all the bunnies fighting? It all started with Mama Hare. See? Oh, that was not a good uh, call. Now you're going to actually attack me. Let's try it. Do you guys want to get along? Doesn't seem like they're interested. I tried to uh, use attrition to wear down their psychological defenses, but they refused. Whatever. We're just going to kill them. Oh, we've got some great music outside. Can you guys hear that? I gotta say, so... Sometimes there's Germans out there. Sometimes there's Turks or immigrants. The Germans are so obnoxious. <laughs> no offense to the 
Jervis, but goddamn. I'm gonna take Diformation, man. That eight armor for everybody in the front can actually make a huge fucking difference. I'm going for it. Exquisite Sword we already have, the Halberd we already have. Let me point it out. We're not doing anything new here. I might need to heal. Over encumbered. We'll go for courage. Chance to improve. I think you take damage for this. Burrows, burrows, burrows. You don't need. You don't need it. I'll just take the damn damage. Burrows is fine. Cultist wears. We can buy cards. Acrobatics. Let's check out the cultist. Another sharp field dressing. The bleeding has been a problem. The bleeding has been a problem. I'll take it. Arterial rupture would actually do massive amounts of damage holy shit three times x for each stack of bleeding on a target do you know how much bleeding we put on some of these guys and it would combo oh oh my our first house are the house next to ours without singing about 2 30 a.m two or three times a week yeah sold awesome off to the guards, brawlers. We'll take a look at the brawlers. I don't know if we're gonna buy anything here. Withdraw, secondary withdraw. Brace, brace, brace could actually be a freaking lifesaver. All right, we just we just added more cards. Now that's one thing with this game. I got forty eight cards in my deck right now. Like, <laughs> um, I don't really want to. We'll just take the drunken guards. I know I was like gunning for the, the level up. Is it an elite? We're so close to the boss. Let's just go for a normal combat. Yeah, that's really bad. 2.30 AM. What is the minimum deck size? I think you start at around 20, but there's not that many opportunities to remove cards. I don't know if there is a minimum deck size. This is gonna suck. Unfortunately, I probably need to kill you first. I will brace with you. All right, here's what we do. Cause you guys just suck, man. You deal so much damage. Obviously, we go with the round shield. We give you the armor. We brace you. I think I give you the toe to toe. So it's later there, and you said you were hearing music. That reminded me of the guy next door. Yeah, I have a park in my backyard. In my backyard, I live in a city. It's just a, there's a park in, outside my window, and. Um, Kids like to go there and hang out and drink and listen to music all the time. Mostly it doesn't bother me. Sometimes. Sometimes. I've, I mean, I've gotten up at like 3 a.m. on a Tuesday and been like, shut the fuck up. When there's like 10 kids out there fucking drunkenly yelling and running around. It's like, come on, guys. My is an entire city. The miniature of Wonderland is there. This turn is gonna suck, man. You're gonna go, you're gonna swap to another rank. When you move, you just gain armor, so we don't actually wanna move you. That Overwatch crap sucks. We're still gonna move you. And we double team him. Not the greatest first turn. I mean, you're gonna shoot me for 15. You're not gonna do anything, but I gotta worry about your poison just going out of control. First 
turn was pretty weak. Oh, you're actually... They didn't... Nobody Nobody attacked you? What the... God. What a waste. Unfortunately, I need to kill these guys, like, ASAP. Press fire on you, probably. Hamstring on you, so when you move, you get fucked. Battering ram you again? Keep this guy from acting? Probably should have focused then the other thing on you. Um, attrition. Deal a bunch of damage. Get that overwhelms going. You start with the bleeds. That's gonna suck. It's gonna suck real bad. <laughs> oh, it's gonna be hard. I mean, we're gonna live. But at what cost? At what cost indeed, yeah. At least every time you hit me with poison, I hit you with poison, but having no armor already... Denver might die. He might not make it. We need you to attack. We need you to get toe trouble. The problem is we can't draw the extra cards because it's gonna fucking kill you. <sighs> formation. Alright, short bow. Let's go. Move here. Just kill the clipper. Okay. It's actually not terrible. I should use arsenal before I use my other stuff, guys. I know this is gonna take the damage. You're gonna take some bleed for it because of preparation, but shit man. What choice do we have? You guard it up, please. Honestly, I don't care if we take so much bleed damage from drawing extra cards. You'll live, you'll heal back up. That's what they get for not social distancing. Well, things have been relaxed in Germany quite a bit compared to the United States, where you're allowed to, like, have 15 people in your house or something nowadays. That's a lot of damage. So that's a lot, that's a lot of damage. Yeah, here comes uh, a lot of bleed. You actually take the fucking bleed damage? When you get it, they take one damage. Oh my god, we're gonna die. We're, we're dead. We're totally dead. We're totally dead. We're totally dead. We're totally dead. <laughs> That's giving you a lot. Yeah, you can heal yourself at least. That's pretty good. That will actually potentially save you, but this shit is going to go bonkers and really give us a hard fucking time. I can hamstring you and then arterial rupture you, possibly until you're dead. not dead unfortunately you come forward I know you're gonna gain more armor but I don't give a crap admit the enemy's getting poisoned if he goes oh not the kids outside who are drinking and partying yeah that, that does make sense um, let's just make sure that he dies Shooting both of them. 
You do heal next turn. They're going to take more bleed damage, but the restoration is going to counteract this. God, I fucking hope the restoration is able to counteract this. <laughs> Enough. Survivalist gear, yeah. Prepare, prepare for a lot of fucking paper bleeding. Oh, oh, oh. oh God, it hurts so bad. You're dead. You're gonna poison me. You're gonna just bleed and hit me for 13. It's okay. It's okay. I think we need to do something about this Ender Clipper now. Unfortunately, you having that Taliate is gonna really suck. You're my target. Second wind is gonna hurt. Can't use it. I'm gonna do it anyways, and you're gonna say that I'm out of my goddamn mind. No, we're, we're gonna go for it. It's worth it. Second wind, draw me an attack card. Strange mist! Strange mist! Oh! Oh! <laughs> so clutch! Are you fucking kidding me? We're saved. Oh, not just the heals, man, but it, it removes all, it removes all of the bleed. God tier. Actually, God tier. Frankly, I need the armor. Actually, that was dumb because you had enough overwhelm stacks that. Mm. You had enough overwhelm stacks. Opposite rank, eight poison. Well, I don't really feel like dealing with that, guys. <laughs> Give me some armor. I could have had this guy healing up. Oh, we are, we are, we're, we're kosher. We're kosher, baby. We're good. We're all good. You're going to die at the beginning of your next turn. You don't poison anybody. It's the opposite rank, so you poisoned everybody. It's okay. <laughs> it's fine. It's fine. You've got enough armor that you're going to be okay. We're over the hump. It got crazy up in there. Damn. Let's break sword him out. Let's murder him. This guy would do two times eight right now. Leaving eight. I mean, he's dead, so we ain't got to worry about it. But wow, that, that would be a lot. That's a lot. You, I think, we're going to be able to kill. Again, I'm okay taking a little bit of bleed damage now. Put the focus fire on you. You can now... We're gonna kill you. Yeah. If that doesn't do it, the exquisite sword will. Also, probably the war cry would have worked. We can't use both, though, can we? And you're dead. Pop. Murder you, murder you. War cry. Uh, you have to move to the front. It's fine. Miasma, we can't do. That shit got crazy. I mean, on one hand, using. The draw on this guy almost fucking killed us. On the other hand, I have a feeling that it almost saved our goddamn life. There's that field blessing. 
Please and thank you. <laughs> Short bow. Get out of here. Get out of here. Start stacking that damage up. This will just kill you. You're dead. Doing 10 damage. Okay. People. Jesus. Wait a little bit, okay? He's still not at full health. I mean, we're all we're all down like 20% health here. We're all down 20% health. Not a great way to go into the final boss fight. I'm gonna tell you right now, it's not. <laughs> oh boy. And yet, it might be what ends up happening. I'm really happy about this. Can I move somebody? I can move you to the front. That's pretty solid. I could just wait. Just be a little bit lame here. Which yeah, okay, I'll probably do. He's probably just gonna die to the poison. And it won't matter so much. Poison ticking up is not... You know what? Nah, let's just kill him. I mean, as quickly as we can, anyways. Which will just be a couple of turns at the most. It would be nice to get one more heal to get um, Burrows back up and topped off, but we accept. Sadist Cunning is a nice move. We can maybe, maybe draw enough cards. There's invigorating whatnots. You will... Please don't kill it? Nice. You're actually going to gain the four health. We accept that. For sure. Okay. Slightly better position. I do love me a battering ram. But nah. Better than nothing, exactly. Very likely I mean, that we were going to get nothing there. I'm just going to take the thief. Uh, what do I care about money? I've got so much here. <gasps> Heal everyone for 50%. We're healed. Gain a thousand experience. Max level. It's a little bit sad to me that, like, what, what is this for exactly? <laughs> what is this for? It's here, but... Eight, eight is max level. How do, how do you, how do you get that? I'll take the will, and I'll take strange mist. I'll take the will. Break. Deal nine damage to targets. Rank. If enemy has bleed, apply cripple. <whistles> Done. Maybe unlocks have a certain achievement. That's true. That's true. There is experience that you gain by playing, and it does potentially unlock things that I don't know. Let's go get ourselves a couple of new people here, shall we? We don't have enough money. Never mind. <laughs> okay. Enter the courtyard. We've made it to the deep into the heart of Dawn's Point. Others are counting on you. It's the final boss. The warden is here. Badass looking fox, yo. Let's go. Can we win? I 
They got those double halberdiers in the back. They got two knights. Magnificent plate. While this character's armor is above 60, all, all bleed stacks are converted to vulnerability. Super interesting. You have the same thing. You also are a champion. You take more than 25 damage from a single attack. The excess damage is ignored and converted to armor. That's fucked up. You also charge. Yeah, okay. You can just gain more and more. This character moves into a new rank. That rank gains 5 charge, and the original rank gains 15 armor and fury. So he also tears up. Probably they're going to fuck with me, too. You're dealing 15 to everyone. You're dealing 15 to me. 20 and another 15. Not super great. Um, a focus fire on the boss is always a Actually, I'm pretty sure he clears his shit out later. Um, I think we're going to give you the toe-to-toe. -to -toe. Frankly, just to have you attack him right off the bat, just to gain a little bit of health. You can hamstring him as well. Deal damage to everyone. Causing vulnerability. Alright, we'll put the focus fire on. The thing is, and I know, I know he does some crazy shit. He deals damage based on how much armor he has, and last time I let him get up to 150, because I ignored everybody else. Now they're gonna deal 25. 25 and 20. It's fucked. You're gonna attack the opposite rank. That's fine. You're attacking him and you're attacking him. <sighs> Miasma, we need. God help me, we need second wind. Because you might just be dead right now. Pretty sure he is dead right now. 25, 25. It's gonna do 50 damage to me right now, dude. Yeah. Yeah, you are. Holy crap. The rabbit's dead. Rabbit's dead. Or the, the. God. 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 Damn. We're actually dead. 25 and 25. Fucking unbelievable. Yeah. Yep, yep, yep. And now you're here, so you're not even gonna gain armor. Which means we definitely just lost the game. <laughs> we totally just lost. You're dealing 15. And you're dealing 15. Cartwright, you're a good guy. Um, we, have, we have no plays right now. We have no plays. Can deal some poison damage to him, but I mean, we're we're so screwed. Oh, we're so screwed. Fifty damage like that, guys. Ouch. Getting all the way to the boss and just getting wrecked like that—it's painful. It's painful. Shield doesn't do anything. We 
do a battle cry, 18 damage armor. Move swaps, all stacks of cripple and bleed, and yeah, you can move a lot of things. You're gonna savagely cleave everybody right now? Yes, you are. Try and hit him. Gotta do. Try and get the war cry. And an arterial rupture, and it might be enough to kill him. I think it will be. It's a start. One guy down. I need him in the back so we can actually gain freaking armor. That's the issue. We gotta move. Ouch and ouch. Please draw a short bow. That'll make me very happy. You're dealing 136 damage. Steal the armor of the ally with the most. Okay. You're stealing. I'm stealing his armor. You do have the short bow. You do have the short bow. Choose the opponent with most armor and mirrors their armor. Yeah. <laughs> If you, if you want to mirror my armor, I mean, by by all means, go for it, buddy. Uh, we got to actually chip down this armor. Because he's going to, next turn, he's going to attack me for that much. Actually... Dropping this. I'd love to do the battle tempo, but instead, we're just gonna knock you back. He could challenge me. No damage coming our way. Unfortunately, his stacks are just going up like crazy right now. fire on you. Do we have 10 armor all of a sudden? You actually mirrored, you actually mirrored the armor that we have. Huh. Second win, please. Get those plagues going. It was a good turn. Only 13 damage coming at us right now. You're gonna challenge us, that's fine. Break that armor? Probably not. One damage. Two damage. Invigorate now. Actually, give us some health. Get some more armor. He's gonna gain. He's gonna gain. Hello. Almost done. Did he do it? Charge? Okay, it's fine. Um, that's interesting. He did... Oh, no, yeah, yeah, you switched. So, yeah, you're going to deal damage equal to current armor, which means you're going to fucking murder somebody right now on my team. Unfortunately, <laughs> I don't know if there's anything I can do about it. Quick hands. Deals damage equal to current. You don't have... A, oh, you're not going yet. You're going to do your nightly thrust for 20 damage, which I don't give a shit about. Okay. 
Can you draw me a bunch of cards, please? You're gonna hit him for 20 damage. Grace makes a lot of sense then for me. Invigorating blow, you will actually gain more healing this way. Indeed you do. And we need to really, really reduce that damage. We gotta we gotta hit him a lot. <laughs> Unfortunately we don't really have the options. All of this is just defensive stuff. Use the strategy here because you do move. Use the toe to toe as well. This is whenever you take vitality damage, isn't it? And when you lose your armor, damn. Just shy. Double team here. Guard. Another miasma. And the solid footing. You heal. You have no armor. You dealt damage through his armor? And you're dealing 84 damage to him. Which means he's almost certainly dead. attacking him, you're attacking him, you're the only one attacking him. 52. <sighs> Technically, we're living. <laughs> Technically, we are living. Um, we can get rid of the battering ram. Let's do that. Hamstring also would have been a fine choice, possibly even better. Reduce this even more. Actually, I didn't realize that you still had Overwhelm on and uh, now you're dealing no damage and in fact the allied party is going to take 15. That worked out pretty well. Let's keep going after him. <sighs> We're getting there. It was looking impossible, but... I mean, nobody's got any armor right now. He's all, they're dying. The poison is really, really coming through right now. You actually gain a bunch of stuff. That was actually the best thing that could have, you, you gained all the stuff. You gained Bastion, you got movement. just you. You're going to apply bleed and that's going to fucking wreck me. So I'm going to battering ram you out of here so you don't do that because bleed would kill me. Bleed is like really bad when we've got a lot of armor but not a lot of health. Into the breach. 16 damage, target the opponent with lowest vitality unless the position in front of them is occupied. Then that opponent's target instead. When the final target is in the front rank, deal an additional 15 damage to all opponents in the back rank. Could have done more damage there. 
What I want to do is get you healing. I mean, I'm just going after the boss right now. Frankly. And I think we can do that. Vulnerability ticks up. Invigorating blow. And rake. And the goddamn boss is dead! Second wind for another miasma. I mean, the brace is not quite applicable here. Whatever, I'll just use it. Dude, are we gonna... Are we gonna do this? <laughs> Absolutely incredible. The poison alone is just absolutely wrecking people. You're gonna apply six bleed and you're gonna apply six bleed. So you guys are gonna certainly die. Quick hands me, folks. kill one of you. You seem like the more likely target. Uh, actually, even though you're going to die anyways, this is going to give me four additional healing per turn. No, nope, I can do Warcry. You can do Warcry, gain armor. And then invigorating blow will do it for me. Can I kill 20 next turn? Can I kill you? I don't think I can. So let's go after you. This, on the other hand, is just going to deal a bunch of damage. Wouldn't be funny if it went infinite now. Time is on our side. I think we got it. I mean, you might die. Nah, with the heals that we get there, I think it's, it's our world. The poisons and the bleeds are going to come through for us right here. Yeah, you're going to take a bunch. 12 bleed is a lot. A lot. At least it's counteracted by restoration, though. A little bleed is gonna hurt. Mm, it does. Don't hurt that much, though. <laughs> Don't hurt that much. Second win, please. You're dead from a shrapnel. We'll double team. You are not quite dead. Nothing we can actually do about it, though. I mean, whatever, just gain more armor. You're dead. I cannot believe it. We've actually pulled it off. Double tap. I mean, the invigorating is not going to help us here. You're just dead. Twelve damage, one shy. Stack that poison, you can just rush him. He's gonna die. Right, you're definitely dead. We can just end our turn here. You 
heal up. You heal up. And next turn, you're just dead no matter what. Okay, that's not... Yeah, yeah, 29 poison. You're just dead. I don't have to do a damn thing. Wow. I did not... I mean, you know what? We're going to finish it off with a taunt. <laughs> I did not see that coming. I thought when they, on that first turn or second turn, killed... Cartwright? That we were screwed. But we got it. Victory. And we got XP carrying us up to the next tier? No? 100? Really? This is what it said last time that I was at 2150 out of 2300. It's. I gotta say. It's a bit shitty that you have to beat the game twice, which takes five hours to level up. I'm sorry. <laughs> Excuse me? Weird. Oh, shit. We did it. Unbelievable. Unlocks. Did I actually unlock anything or you're just going to still tell me no? Because I'm still not at the at the top tier. The warrior, the priest, and the rogue. So there are entire new things available to us. And you gotta like use tokens to unlock them? Questionable choice to me, but okay, fine. Fine. Either way, we did it. It's done. It was intense. Really, really intense. I pushed this extra far too. It's 115. I'm tired as fuck. I'm gonna go to sleep now. Y'all have a good night. By the way, it's Puppy Stream. All donations, all bits, all subscriptions in the next two months go towards making my wife happy because we can't afford a puppy and we want a puppy. So now I'm streaming extra hard so that we can try and get a puppy. <laughs> That's all I gotta say. If you're new here, don't forget to follow because I stream at kind of random hours. I'm a variety streamer. We do kind of whatever. Tonight was Banners of Ruin. Sunday will be Tales of Magi L. Starting at 7 o'clock Central European time. 1 o'clock Eastern Standard. Y'all have a good night. I'm done. I'm wrecked. I can't believe I held it together long enough to finish there. Good night. Sweet dreams, you princes. I'm going.